Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more Sonora. And here we are again in the lovely, temperate, beautiful desert location. Yes, I know that's not what temperate means, but it's, uh, it's good. I'm currently hearing Epstein Drive and not knowing where it's coming from. Oh, wait. No, it's not from this rover. Ken, are you west-northwest of the base? Oh, there you are. Uh, okay, I see you. Probably. All right, there you are. You looked... So, from where I was standing earlier, uh, my brain was like, that's just a part of the pipeline tower. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky, you see? Mm -hmm. Very, very stealthy. So stealthy, in fact, that the warfare batteries just disappeared out of your ship. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, and it's slightly terrifying. Is is it are things okay? It's not about to fall apart or something. It's just no, no. It seems fine. There's just a few gaps um, about two thirds of the way down, which I've plugged with ordinary batteries. And connection problem. Holy cow! I lived. And we're back. Yeah, that was Scarlet. Ah, uh, Scarlet kicked the server. He was angry at it. Just took a took a baseball bat to the side of it said, behave! Why would I wreck my own hardware? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. Did anyway. you learn to do that last stream? <laughs> I can't be judged by what I may or may not have done. <laughs> okay, so, uh, in chat, because, so, my idea today is to build a, a vehicle worthy of bringing us to the Temple of Josh. And uh, I put that in the description. And Alchemy says, Just as a warning to you all, be careful. The Temple of Josh and the Halcyon Command Bunker are major reaver bait. Kander, do you have anything that can de deal with major reaver problems? Uh, as long as it doesn't fall over again, yeah. Oh, you're shooting. Uh, oh, yeah. It's... As long as the front doesn't fall off? <laughs> yeah, as long as the front doesn't fall off. <laughs> well, it's not meant to fall off, Kander. Indeed, it is not meant to fall off. I mean, you know, maybe you should design it a little better. So that this one may be designed so the front doesn't fall off. Oh, yes. I've designed it to uh, rigorous uh, nautical naval standards. Oh. Like maritime standards. Excellent. So the front won't fall off. Don't want off. you thinking... Yeah, I don't, don't want you thinking the front falling off is uh, is normal. Okay. Well, that's good. They've used teak, right? Oh, maybe that's a problem. We need to use the wood skin on your ship. And then, and then it won't. <laughs> it won't break. I do feel like the nose isn't as pretty as it was last time. But I do now have room um, for a camera. Uh, although, before the stream started, um, it fell over and the... Uh, fell over into the swamp um, and the antenna fell off. The antenna fell off? Yeah. At least it hasn't fallen into the swamp and got fire yet. Yeah. Yet. I do love the RCS thrusters. Just little angry white cones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Plonk. Yes. Do you see the tower near one of the um, mining stations we've got? It's to the southwest. Southwest, west. I open the, up. The short one? Yeah. I open up the cargo, and the first thing I see is 240 millimeter cyclone heavy cannon. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, yes, this is definitely a BCG base slash rover. Have, you, have we been working on. Uh, Cookie Monster over here. I do love that it's Cookie Monster Blue. That is excellent. It is. The correct hex code and everything. Oh, is it? That's awesome. Yeah, I looked it up. <laughs> Speaking of the correct color, uh, final. Yes. See these armor blocks right here? Yes, I'm not the painter. <laughs> Skook is the one painting. I'm working on it. You, you know you can choose a color when you place down a block, right? 
I do, I but know. final placed all these blocks, so... I, that's why I was yelling at him. Oh my gosh. Just ominous rumbling of Kander's ship. Just constant <laughs> ominous rumble. <laughs> I think it's funny that the the client to client desync is such that when you're landed, even though you're not using any thrust, my game thinks you are. <laughs> <laughs> so we discussed a couple different options here. Uh, option one was to slap on a uh, a crew cabin under Sforzando over there. Option two from scratch build a proper flagship for which we already have a name option it's called proper flagship uh no it's actually going to be called for the fairest well that's so fun um option three create the mother of all carryalls that can just carry our, <laughs> our rovers <laughs> from here to the temple of josh so um, I feel like option one is the easiest, option two might be the most prestigious, option three might be the most hilarious. <laughs> so do we want to go, do we want to go easy, prestigious, or hilarious is our question. Oh, and I actually probably should piece the Temple of Josh. Yes, Rush, sparkly blue. This is actually the exact color of Cookie Monster. Skoka and Final looked it up. Let me just... Temple of Josh. What is it? What are they called? Knights of Josh? Yep. Is there a reason? Oh. Knights, K, K, K. I've accepted peace with Knights of Josh. <laughs> Brayden Norad and Guns Act are both voting for three because, quote, Dune calls to <laughs> us. I was almost squished by Sforzando's gantry. Okay, you can put Let's it back up. I just need it. to make sure that, so that it would what I wanted to do wouldn't cause interference with it. Uh, the gantry, by the way, is still my favorite part about Cookie Monster. The fact that it just like, oh yeah, uh, you know, some people are like, yeah, carry on the truck, carry a missile so it can, you know, fire something. We're like, let's carry a missile destroyer. <laughs> Why not? Super BCG. It's very, very candor specifically, to be honest. Even though it wasn't quite his idea, but it does seem like something he'd like to do. Indeed. Zori says Josh is pleased because we have uh, we have accepted peace from their faction. Uh, Zori, if you could send me a direct message of where the Knights of Josh Temple or the Temple of Josh is, uh, I would be most obliged so I can figure out where we're going. I suppose I should do something. What are our stores like? Uh, uh, reasonable for the most part. Uh, We've got yeah. a good, uh, good iron income, um, depending on what building projects everyone does. Yeah. Um, I think we have, well, we should have enough cobalt to last until the heat death of the universe, but I know who I'm playing with. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Platinum is maybe the next thing we're going to be short of. We've, Do we well, need to go we, back we, to the old was... base to get some? Because I know that had a bunch, right? Or do we bring uh, it with us? There is some underneath us. Oh. If you want to drop another shaft. Oh, um, I see. 1.3 1. 1. kilometers. Or 1.13 kilometers yeah. down. We um, could go. I mean, while you folks are going to the Temple of Josh, Cookie Monster and team could go get uh, the platinum and stuff from the old base. If it's still there. Um, yeah, 35 kilometers away. I mean, I can actually, I can go over there right now in the rover since I'm not doing anything else. Sure. And it shouldn't take me long to go 35 kilometers. Let's take a look. Start the, start the stream with a nice quiet drive. 
Nice quiet drive for a nice quiet build stream. <laughs> I'm just letting it charge a little final. Sure. Um, what we should think about doing, uh, Clonk, is do you see what I put on the on this side over here? On the on this side of the the gun deck, I guess. Some weird like energy triple cannon thing. Yeah, it's something like that. Um, that we should put on the other side too. There's not very much PD on that side either, so we'll need to put some more cords and and avalanches. Gotcha. So put put one of these weird blasty boys on the other side. Yeah, and a bunch of avalanches so that we can have more PD on that side. Okay. Well, we need to get started on our project, whether it may be. I think I think uh, Stream wants us to build a carry all. I, I kind of want to do the flagship, but I mean, is there a reason we can't do both? Other than, you know, melting the server? Well, less melting the server and more melting the sim speed. Can we do both this session? Oh, absolutely. I was say, I... we'll, we'll, just, we'll just keep streaming until it's done. See you Sunday morning. Is here? She's not here yet. No, she's... Uh... Okay, then we're safe. <laughs> Clunk's totally down. <laughs> As I cruise away. I do like how this little uh, main base rover cough turned out. <laughs> the expedition rover. Yeah, that's what it is now. My one gripe with this new update is conveyor junctions are now no longer in the same grouping as conveyor tubes. Yeah, I agree. That is a frustrating problem. I think Ooh. that's because of the AQD mod. Oh, is that what it yeah, is? It, the update. It puts, oh, yeah. Yeah, it puts them in, in with the um, armored conveyors instead of just the tubes. Can it, can it be in both? It could be, uh, but they didn't, they didn't put it in both. You should stop by for Josh, miss. You must Josh? choose wisely. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Zora, you this still is, have not this given is me... four wide, not three wide. So all my measurements are yeah. off. Yeah, it's, it's a weird shape. But it works, but it's a weird shape. Get it oh, right. Oh, I see. You put it in sideways. Okay. Yeah. And that it actually fires 100 millimeter depleted uranium rounds. Well, that's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, the minigun, the big minigun. <laughs> the big minigun. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of votes for flagship carry-all. Uh, so... Do we build no. a giant sky crane? And by carry-all, does that mean, like, literally carry all of our rovers? <laughs> <laughs> so, a jump ship, they wanted to build a jump ship? I mean, we've done that yeah. before, but, like, something they can Seen lift... It. <laughs> Our... Simpsons did it. <laughs> <laughs> Something we can carry all of our stuff is, uh, to quote, uh, uh, a guy's, uh, whatever. It's a lot. My brain just sort of <laughs> fell over. Eloquent. My Eloquent. brain, my brain yes. fell over. <laughs> as long as the front didn't fall off, you should be. No, able. no, the, that lobe's still there, even though it's not functioning right now. Good news, I'm only 32 kilometers away from the old base. Hooray! Hooray! I think. Actually, I don't even... Wait, do I even have the old base? I have enter ye the hole. That That's close to our old base, right? It's close, yeah. Okay. 26 from that. Um... Hmm. See, because yeah. I wanted... I kind of wanted to go vertical with the build. But if we're making a carry-all, that's that's right out, isn't it? Well, it could still be well, vertical. It, the the carry-all will just have to pivot 90 degrees to pick everything up and then go vertical again. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say, given that, well, 
what what would we want in a flagship? Uh, so I'm thinking, Guns. you know, obviously, well, yes. Um, because right now I would say that Cookie Monsters are flagship, our our ground fla- our fr- a flag rover, because it's very much the everything. Mm-hmm. Um. So I think we we want we want cargo we want a summit some not necessarily all industry but some in just industrial capacity and then uh, oh, there's a lot of scrap scrap shoots at me now doesn't it yeah yes so stay outside of four kilometers pretty much um but yeah anyway uh but. You know, more important than anything, uh, like the crew quarters. We don't. Nobody has crew quarters yet. Like the I know that. And then we have to have like <laughs> a receiving area for signing treaties of those that we've conquered. Um, we need conference room. We need a war yeah, room. Yeah. Yeah. A, a peace room that nobody uses. A pe- uh, yeah, three spas. A uh, several restaurants. It's not a hot. It's not a. <laughs> it's not a proper flagship without a hot tub. True. This true. is sounding more and more like the Enterprise D. Oh, uh, I mean, isn't what I was referencing? <laughs> isn't that ideal? The ideal flagship. If your flagship's not a cruise Obviously. ship, you're doing something wrong. So, I mean, I hate when ships go into the shipyard and come out all sovereign class. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got. We've got flagship carry all, and then people going uh, uh, flagship over carry all, and like a, just a flagship would be a lot easier to do. We could probably make a flagship that could carry everything, like a single ship, other than Cookie Monster, because ain't nothing carrying that. I think final, you're planning on converting <laughs> Cookie Monster to being space capable anyway. Yeah, but we'd be here for a while while I do that because it's gonna yeah. be well, yeah, because it, it weighs <laughs> like a few megatons, so yeah. It's at 7 million kilos right now. Woohoo! What are our point defenses called? Avalanche. Uh, Avalanche or Oculus. Yeah. And, Although we've got uh, a decent amount of uranium if you want to sprinkle some uh, guardians in there, but I understand if you want to minimize the number of types of ammo you want. Yeah, yeah. I'm just mostly trying to keep it to avalanches and save the uranium for the 240s and the now the Apollo that's on that ship. I did <laughs> see the Apollo firing. Yeah, yeah, we Chris. wanted some uh, ranged pew pew. Well, and the two and the Apollo is pretty ridiculous. Just yes. insane yes, yes. rate of fire. I poke a lot of holes. Is is the Apollo? Yeah, well, in a five kilometer range too. I think, I think if we want to get the... to the Temple of Josh tonight, we're gonna need to build a flagship and not a carry all. Doesn't mean we won't ever build a carry all. In fact, I think Finals uh, Cookie Monster, Finals Cookie's Cookie Monster, might end up being the carry all with the amount of lift capacity it's going to end up with. Uh, Probably. And I mean, it's already got some of the equipment for a carry all, right? So we just got to put, you know, a couple more clamps and some more hinges because, you know, why not? Um, and it'll be able and, to and, carry uh, things. Yeah, and it's, I plan on probably putting a hanger or two. Like, we already have one hanger, we'll probably have more. Yeah. Uh, the Apollo only has a 2.5 kilometer range. It's the Athena, which is the 5 kilometer range. Hmm. Sure. Because I just turned it down from yep. 5 to 2. Uh, on the tooltip, it says 2.5. Interesting. Our railguns don't know how long range they are. Nah, look in the, uh, look in the control panel. Oh. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. And that should be how it should be, to be honest, because the, the weirdness of this being only 2.5 with the itty bitty little Athenas are 5 just makes no sense. Yeah, exactly. If anything, the Apollo should be 7.5, and, a half, and yeah. I think the the next one up is 10 or 15. Mm, I think I think the next one up is, is the massive one. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because all the rest, all the coil guns and stuff, are uh, fixed forward. I need to get myself a keyboard weight. My finger's getting tired. (laughs) 
I was I was building airplanes today. My fingers are tired when I use them a lot. Fortunately, uh, my landing gear are right next to where the big fusion drive is, so I would offer to carry you, but... I mean, <laughs> yeah. you could carry a good portion of the ship still. <laughs> just, <laughs> just land on a part of it that's not important. So, um, if we want flagship, flagships don't have to be the biggest ships. I'm thinking something, you know, maybe... Something with, with a flag. Uh, f of course, no flag, no country. Klonk's our resident flag expert, uh, by the way. Klonk had the winning design for the Federal Navy flag for Deadly Salvage. So. And ever since then, I've been thinking of better ways to do that flag. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? When we get picked up by Amazon, you can design it then. Okay. Yeah, propulsion override is probably a good idea, except then I'll probably forget that it's on and crash into something. I'm basically just switching okay. fingers now. I'm 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 Wing with my ring finger at the moment. You can't say that on stream. I just did. What are you gonna do about it? Uh complain to the manager. De monetized. D E yep. monetized. Alright, if we are going to commit to going to space, then I will start converting uh Cookie Monster into a vertical ship. I'll build the gantry to do it. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Are you just going to build a gantry yeah. to pivot the whole thing 90 degrees? I am literally going to build a giant <laughs> five-hinge lifting mechanism to pick up Cookie Monster with and put, make it vertical. With pistons? I don't know if I'll need them with five hinges. Nothing could well, go you wrong. You don't need them. Well, question then. Do we want yes. to do that now or do we want to concentrate on the flagship for now? Considering how our resource situation because I don't know if we have the resources um, to do more than one gigantic project at a time. I would say not. Um, yeah, just I don't think because, so. I mean, I, I, I was I, I love the idea. an hour to build up iron. Um, I don't think it's built up that much. I, I, no, I don't think so. Scanning through, I saw about 40,000 iron. Omnia is saying that if we, if we lift up... Uh, Cookie Monster, it's just going to explode. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Omnia Let's build a flagship, then. Yeah, I think we should build the flagship. And then uh, we can, you know, definitely do the Cookie Monster thing. Because the Cookie Monster definitely has to come with us. And we'll put a bay in Cookie Monster for this rover, which is called something that I don't remember. I, th I think we're missing the obvious. Static Grid 437. What are we missing? Four, three, seven. I, I think we're missing the obvious, which is to make the flagship, we just have to combine all the existing rovers. Oh, Voltron? <laughs> yes. Like, not like, not like cleanly merge everything, like, literally just slap them together and then put a bunch of Epsteins on it. I mean, you know, this... I was thinking about that too. I was going to lengthen Cookie Monster so we could just put the production rover at the back of Cookie Monster. <laughs> no, 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 no. no the, the production rover has to go under Cookie Monster. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's where the Epstein traps go, though. Well, no, because the, the Epsteins will go underneath the Logi rover because it has to be stacked vertically. Ah. That's what you said, right? True. But this this is why I was going to flip the whole grid 90 degrees <laughs> so that the front of the ship was still the front of the ship. <laughs> but, oh, to that point, if we, build the, if we build a flagship, whatever that flagship will be, I do think we've been we have been kind of building on this trend of more ships instead of one big ship, which has been uh, no offense to E, but a BCG trope for a little while. Oh yeah, There's for one, sure. Usually one big ship, right? Well, okay. To and, be fair, uh, oh you, you mean <laughs> oh you mean one big ship is a DE is the BCG trope? Yes. Okay. Yes. Definitely. One hundred percent. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is that the BCG trope has been one big ship, like Nick and Doodoo and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Now not saying we can't do another big you know one ship is everything kind of thing but we haven't done a you know a wagon flotilla. train with the stars sure kind of stuff one well, yeah. i when, when the, the flagship i wasn't thinking like massive production and all that other stuff i was thinking like it has 
a refinery. It has a assembler in case something goes wrong, right? Um, other than yes, that, yeah, I mean, may, maybe even basic refineries just to keep it small. And then it's mostly like living space, self-defense. Uh, this is the pretty ship we go and show people when we want to impress them, right? Yeah. See, and, I was thinking like eight refineries, but using them as the armor belt. <laughs> No, that's the battleship, and I'm sure you're going to build it. <laughs> that's, that's not... No, that's... That, those aren't... It's not refineries. It's torpe torpedo defenses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they would be refineries as well, but they would be pulling double duty. Just refining my torpedo defenses. My horrible British accent. It's just, it's just processing the leftover scrap from the last set of <laughs> torpedo defenses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which, by the way, used to be someone's ship. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan is telling us, flagship first, go and take over the Temple of Josh. <laughs> Which Zori still has not sent me the location of. So, I mean, like, if she wants us to visit. She yeah. might not be able to get in. Ooh. We're at 16 right now. Ooh. Well, that's her fault. Is there a temp <laughs> Is there a Knights of Josh person... In? Uh, nope. no. Excellent. May have to uh, obtain access to the temple by um, <clears throat> communing with Josh. <clears throat> yes. S sending forth a recon drone. Yeah. I see a Nabarine is now playing Space Engineers. I can just use my admin powers to find it for you guys. Subtle, clunk. <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> oh. Uh, yes, so um, this little tower over here, which I, is shorter than it was to start with, um, full of loot. You can uh, take the beam and loot it. it. Oh, for, I can't imagine why it would be shorter than it used to be. Why would that be, no. Kander? I don't know. It's, I don't know. Maybe the front fell off. <laughs> or the, the front or the top? You expertly, accidentally removed the top of the tower with many missiles and railgun rounds? Uh, no, grinder, actually. Oh, okay. Because uh, apart from... Well, it turns out if you stick all the machine guns... Uh, underneath an overhang uh, and you can jetpack about two kilometers up into the air uh it's the only personal defenses can't hit you oh uh nathan uh ironically enough i was playing the straight man Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, clog wow. okay this is interesting i have like a little dot in the middle of my screen when i'm in a cockpit it's uh, weapon core targeting. Oh. You can hold alt and it'll hi uh, highlight a, a blue target. Okay. Miss Nebarine. You're on push to talk and I didn't hear you, Nebarine. It's not working. Why? Check your... Check all the stuff. I think she is muted in... No, she's, she's not. Me. She's doesn't understand why her mic isn't working. I told her to check all of her... I, I, there she is! Right here. Hello. Hi. 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 Um, when you get in, yes. don't get out of your cryobot. Right, because I'll be shot to death. Yes. So just press K, apply to the faction, and then once we, you've accepted, or once someone has accepted you, it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, the same thing happened to me. Yeah, it's because we're ladies. What? Gosh. Stupid guys. We don't need the guys. They're just so trying to stupid. shoot us. Okay. Well, That's sounds right. like Nab and Skoka are building the flagship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'll look it's like It's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, we don't. Yep. So, new design idea for the flagship, ladies. Make it look like a tulip. <laughs> huh? Okay. Okay. And then the, sure. And then the flower can open up and be filled with weapons. <laughs> You just want to be Sounds able to a say. Beyond my skill level. You here. just want to be able to say, "Use Death Blossom," don't you? 
maybe. <laughs> I choose you, flagship. Flagship, Look. use Death Blossom. Oh. Look, we come in peace. We brought you a flower. Do you have a flag? No flag, no country. I'm getting very close to the old base. I'm getting a ping on my targeting. I'm hoping that's it. Turn off targeting. Computer. Might be. I can't use Walking the forest clock. Only, please. No, turn it off because you, it's more likely to cause a friendly fire incident. Why well, didn't lock the target? I just illuminated it. Uh, point of order: I'm the one who has the, the monopoly on friendly fire incidents. True enough. I crash the ships. Scarlet chases donuts. And Clunk. crashes ships. Clonk makes rollbacks happen. Candor shoots his friends. That no, shoots myself. <laughs> With torpedoes. Yes. Ooh, big chunk. I must be nabbering connecting. Yep. Yes. Which means I probably shouldn't be driving at 40 meters a second. But I'm not going to slow down. Okay, I'm two kilometers from entry. Either hole. Oh, I think I see it. I see something flickering in the distance. Oh yeah, this is it, because I'm also getting like a way underground ping, which I believe is the platinum mine. Probably. Yeah, you should be good now, Neb. Thank you. I like the public info about this ball and chain gang. Oh, and what is that? It says it's a marriage thing, not a kink thing. Yep. Beautiful. I put that. Did I put that in on stream? I can't even remember. I might have been pre-stream that I put that in. People are confused about that. Oof. Uh, no, it's uh, final Mr. Skoko that the kink thing. <laughs> Swish crack. That's what everyone likes to say. That's what everyone likes to say. Well, if you didn't mumble so much. Sorry, what was that? Exactly. There's still a light on at the base. That's a good sign, right? Uh, it's depends if it's an, an electrical light or sort of a burning fire. Appears to be electrical in nature, but that doesn't mean it's not an electrical fire. Ooh, that looked like sparking. Yeah, that's sparking. Scarlet. Yes. How good was the wiring in the base when we left it? It was pristine. I have My arrived. Chef's kiss. Is there, are there conveyor sorters in the system, Candor? Uh, not Candor, final, on the Cookie Monster? Nope. nope, but um, if you're using, what's it called, Build Planner, it doesn't work through subgrids. You have to go to an actual cargo on the on the other ship. But oh, you, that's if why. You go, yeah, but if you go into the cargo on Cookie Monster and you open the cargo and use the button in the middle, it works just fine. Access denied? Excuse me? What, you thought you owned our base? Access denied? Oh. Perhaps it's not our base anymore. Drufus has hacked one, two assembler, three, four, five assemblers. Uh, two cargoes. Uh, I think that's a declaration of war. Uh, another component storage. He's got two cargoes and a connector. To be nice. fair, um, before we left, I basically dragged everything into the Lodgy Rover. I've got some platinum here. Oh, not ore, but all, all like, everything that was built. This is my idea for point defense. <laughs> I like it. Good plan. Uh, also, this turret here, this um, this seventy millimeter reptile, I'm imagining that I'm just basically moving it. If that makes sense. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Works great. 
We can. There's a conveyor there. We can put a heavy armor block over. Yeah, I think this is great. Uh, Kander, are you building a frame for a ship? Uh, more a sprue. Um, <clears throat> I thought this would be a, a reasonable enough spot, as long as you don't drive Cookie Monster backwards. Sure. Inventory. Then I, I was going to sort of start placing a couple of things, but then I, I wasn't quite sure exactly what I'm, what we're thinking. Yes. If we're, if we're going for nacelled engines, we probably want fewer and smaller ones. Uh, otherwise, we might want larger ones. We just want one big engine. I don't know. I'm almost thinking we just plant some warheads on this thing and blow it so people can't just take stuff out of it for free. Warheads on sensors? So hopefully we blow them up too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do love that. Somebody other than me is going to have to place them, though, if we do that. <laughs> I mean, the other alternative is uh, that the person in question is online, therefore it's, uh can be targeted for PvP. Were they ones near our base? Yes. Yes, they were. Do we have a GPS location? Uh, you shouldn't really need one. It's it's basically a um, another pirate storage bunker. It's about three kilometers away from our base. Was it well armed? Uh, well, I think there's some on it, but they they don't have missile range. Let's put it that way. Well, I'm not well armed, so. Would you like to be? <laughs> Why is it that whenever I log out, I lose all of my good tools? Were you in a bed? I was in a cryopod. And you were still alive? Yes. Yes, that's why we knew she wasn't in the faction. Oh. Yes. Weird. There should be spares. Just happens every single time. Where are all these construction components going? Um, they might be going into this over here. Let me check. Never yes, mind. It's in... just the toolbar that changes. Why does the toolbar reset? Uh, I don't know that one. That's weird. Oh, yeah. There's an auto build thing. So I don't even need to worry about it. Right. Okay. Well, and there's a welder here. It's welding up the big gun. Oh, okay. I was sitting here like I it's I'm seeing them being produced. I'm seeing them get removed and then I'm not able to take them myself. I'm loading up this rover with all sorts of goodies from the base. There is some platinum, gold, silver. I'm guessing we leave the silicon. Oh, leave no. our precious, uh, precious forces behind, I think not. Not the silicon. Wherever will we get more? Okay, I'll bring the silicon. Please don't. <laughs> I take it all back. <laughs> I'm grabbing all the iron I can find, though. Iron, Are you out and, and about? I'm at the old base. So I uh, found the engine we need, Scander. So Nab, our yes. uh, our old base, someone hacked it. Drufus hacked it. Uh, not a surprise. Are we surprised? I'm not surprised. So I'm thinking that if he wants resources, we might, seeing as he is online right <laughs> I was now, thinking the same. Thinking go the same give plan. him some. Was it uranium and magnesium and platinum and high velocities at very high velocities. Okay, sounds like fun. <laughs> Kander, you are clear to engage. Please come pick Roger me up at the that. old base so I can watch. Let me just come home to tweak the, um, redo all my, uh, bu buttons for shooting. <laughs> someone oh, is, posting someone is watching, someone <laughs> is watching the stream. All right, if you die, you can blame the stream sniping. Yes. I mean, if he's gonna if he's gonna attack a base while we're not there, then he's gonna be attacked. While he while is there, he is there. <laughs> <laughs> because them's the rules, friend. Them's the rules. Uh, 
I mean, on the plus side, he did get me to say his name in the stream. The, uh, was that, was that also... a thing? Was that a thing that was supposed to... No, it's just... That's, uh, a lot of times, things will happen. This was, I think, just more of a, a crime of opportunity. Oh, there goes the blast. Yes. I think the other thing, too, is we have had an incident with or someone was doing something suspicious that we haven't been able to confirm yet. Right. Yes. If you are a said suspicious person, it's time to fess up. I mean, fessing up won't save you, but... <laughs> That's true. It'll make your soul... It'll make your soul feel better. <laughs> Before Kander gets there. Kander, there is an atlas in the sky. We may want to do a demonstration... Uh, a firepower demonstration on that before, you know, just to just to warm up the uh... warm up the crowd. Yeah, uh, yeah. Nah, we, we've deleted that was before. That's true. So these internal worlds. Oh, speaking of which, I have three more of those. Oh, I <laughs> I think it may be overkill for this. It uh, might be overkill for this but... because that would definitely Stone Age. And yes, oh. uh, no, no, don't worry because uh, they would impact on the uh, tower, and I know for a fact his base is buried at the foot of the tower. Ah, I know because we were raiding the same thing at the same time, and part way through taking out what I wanted from the base, I noticed uh, this sort of blister of tunnels and gates and things being sprouted on the basement level. Ah, and that's when you nicked all the <laughs> uranium. Yeah. So if I were to watch this absurdity, where would I go to watch it? Uh, do we allow Nab to teleport since Kander has already departed? I no, don't worry about it. I, I think she was. If they w well, because no, it was just to watch like with the camera. But oh, um, well, we can. You're gonna be doing that though, right? I will. Okay, so well then, if people want to watch that, they go to the YouTube, and that's fine. Oh, I need to turn on my nap cam. Oh, look at all the silicon I didn't pick up. Is there some way to weaponize all that silicon? <laughs> you can just drop it from orbit. I wish. I I do wish that it still the damage. A what, one when you million, drop stuff? A one yeah. million kilogram block of this silicon. Is a giant <laughs> mushroom cloud. <laughs> I mean, does a block's weight matter when you drop it? Yes, it actually. does. So if you load so it... So, cargo container full of silicon. <laughs> Splat! Oh, uh -oh. God, come on. Nope. He can't do that. He already uh, broke the rules. Well, we, we did say that um, if you offline raid somebody, you um, Invited have in no leg to stand on. Yep. It's, it's not, it's, it's, this is a guideline. More like guidelines. Than actual rules. Now you're like you're gonna offline raid somebody, and those somebodies happen to be the admins. <laughs> you're going to get yourself in trouble. I mean, we did take all the guns off the base. Well, the base didn't have any guns in the first place. Yeah. yeah. Well, well did, yeah, the guns drove away. By, yeah. <laughs> did, yeah, the, yeah. Exactly. The guns left. <laughs> We didn't have any ammo or anything here, right? It was just basically ingots and ore. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay, Skoka. I think I think the armor's how I want it. All right. Looks good. Ooh, I had a I had a bit of a clench moment there when I got re-entry effects. <laughs> <laughs> do Do you know where the old base is? Oh, yeah, I've got a, a GPS for it. Okay, because that's where I am. I'm just currently gathering things. Access denied. There's one of the car containers he opened up. Let's see if he left anything. I have a suspicion. Oh, no, there's a bunch of stuff in here still. Nothing valuable. Well, to most people, I'm taking as much of this iron as I can. 
Because <laughs> I know who I'm playing with. Nothing valuable except the thing we need most. Yeah. Well, I mean, value is relative. Gunzak is wondering, did you not abandon the base? No, we left the base. We didn't abandon the base. If we had abandoned it, we would have set it to nobody and put, like, a sign on it. If we abandoned it, we would have ground it down into its component parts. Yeah. That too. When I, when I leave my house, I don't abandon my house and allow burglars to come in. What? You don't? Yeah, that's... Nope. That's not how that strange. works. Strange. It is very strange. Is there... If, if I grind down this hangar bay and move it, will that result in a loss of bot parts? Shouldn't be. The, which, the, the, the drone factory or the actual, like, oh, no, the hangar bay itself, like the Eric's weapon. No, it should be fine. I don't think we've made any drones for it yet. I don't think so either. No. Oh, no, wait. I'm being silly. I know what I can do. Leave this like this. Come in here. Boop. I just noticed, okay, so I'm looking at the YouTube chat, and there's a guy called Anderson Man in chat. You are the hero that has done so much work on our Deadly Salvage oh, yes. wiki. Thank you, Anderson Man. You are an incredible human. Thank you so much. And yes, you are right that this amount of basic refineries is in fact a crime against efficiency, but when you are processing resources at the rate that we needed to process resources, it just doesn't matter. Every every extra bit yeah. of capacity was okay. I mean, that base wasn't enough to uh, keep up with the incoming resources. Yeah. The main reason we moved is we wanted to get away from other players that were spawning oh, all the time in our offline. Because this is this is like a super awesome resource. Ooh, that was a river being. Yep, that was exciting. Kander, what's your ETA? Uh, I'm about 13 kilometers out. Okay. I'm currently scanning the targets. Remember, I want you to pick me up first so I can watch the fireworks. So oh, we okay. can yeah. demonstrate the firepower that's fully armed and operational, Sforzando. What does Sforzando mean, by the way? Uh, it means to play with a strong initial attack. It's a musical term. I thought it looked musical, but I did not take enough music theory. Well, I found it because um, I couldn't remember what an accent was, where, as in I, I knew how how to play an accent, but I couldn't remember the word for it. Mm -hmm. um, and in the process of Googling to find out, I found this, and also found out that accent was just accent, which isn't very exciting. Is that... So I chose uh, Sforzando instead. It's a good name. It's a good name. Does this mean that the, uh, the name of your battleship is going to be Fortissimo? Uh, I was thinking either uh, Crescendo or uh, maybe for a change of pace, uh, Soto Voice. Oh, that, yeah. Uh, Soto Voce would be a really good name. Percussion. <laughs> <laughs> that one kid with the triangle. Oh, he's, he's saying what in chat like he doesn't know. I know, but... I'm like, I'm on the wiki right now, but I know it's that guy. I recognize it's his... an, It might be another Anderson man. But I recognize the little icon next oh. to his name. Yeah, interesting. One of, our it, pipelines, find it. one of our pipelines is also showing up as a enemy uh, block. How interesting. Nope, there it is. 508 edits. Anderson Man. <laughs> That's a lot of edits. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the rumble. That's how I know my ride is here. Uh, I'm about seven kilometers uh, away, um, about 45 degrees up. But I'm going to be careful because I do keep on triggering mm -hmm. the entry effects. I, I can't imagine why. So Anderson, man, are arc furnaces actually good for anything, or are they sort of just gimmicks? Clonk dating himself, calling it an what? arc furnace. Yeah, arc furnaces. I know. Wait, are they? 
what are they called now? They're just called basic refineries. Basic refineries. Have been since the survival update. Oh. <laughs> Arc <laughs> furnace sounds cooler, though. It does. But you see, basic, basic refinery does make a certain amount of sense. You know, means uh, people understand a little bit more. And Keen's always about making things more easy to understand, you know, which is why they have 47 different types of ammo for their hand weapons. I mean, that didn't used to be a thing, did it? No. That was Warfare no. 1 that yeah. made that go weird. I am holding fire, but I do have a target lock. Okay, well, where, where are you? I don't see. I'm about five kilometers above. I'm still going to take it a bit gently. I cannot move. Why can I not move? Oh, there we go. I'm also going to have to straight because uh, I'm going to be coming into land. I always need to straighten up and go to the other cockpit so I can get an artificial horizon. The sim is suddenly garbage. Yes. Hopefully the floating object thing will help. I'm going to check for uh, an atlas in the planet real quick. Uh, the atlas is still being gone. I bet you it's a reaver. A reaver in a planet? Okay. Oh, yeah. Still bad though. Hmm. Look for some crashed THE ships. Oh. Slight rubber band. Locked up hard there for a second. Nope. Connection problem. Okay. That's me deleting. Stuff. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want that when I'm uh, free falling. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to wake up dead. No, technically no. you don't. Not, not in real life, but here you can wake up dead. Nope, that was one of them that was hurting. Since so we just went up by point one. Uh, now it's back down again. Dang it. I'm just removing anything, any of the NPC ships that are moving at like point zero zero one minus E to the whatever. And that seems to be doing the trick. There are a lot of grids in this world. 877. Oof. Oh, Ow. no. Oh. <laughs> Were you talking to me? Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a message out for review, and I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, well, that is the, the back end of a YouTube video. The back end of a YouTube video. Oh, like the, the URL, so that's like the unique URL identifier for this. Oh. Just a... If you want to, if you want to hover, Kendra, I can just make it up to you. All right. Uh. Have you? Did you, did you view it at all? Uh, uh, no, but I can do so. I'll do that now. Where's the other seat? Uh, if you go to the side of the light panel, to the upper pair. Hang on, I'm trying to get in your airlock. Oh, it's not really an airlock, it's just a 
make it so one shell doesn't come through and kill everything. There we go. Kill the crew compartment. Oh man, that looks cool. Okie dokie. Let's uh, do this, shall we? Okay. Oh my gosh, already a target lock. Following the missiles in. Oh, I've, I've, I've had a target lock for a while. Yeah, he said that. Oh. Uh, that is most of the weapon systems. Yeah. yeah those are targeted on the fence. What what Anderson says is accurate um, in terms of the video content, it, okay. but it, it's like a two hour live stream, so I, I can't I, mean, I can't watch all of it. To <laughs> make sure this... Yeah, that's fine. Anderson man trying to help. Oh, what's this one? Who? That was nearby and it blew up a lot of stuff. That uh, oh. that's the torpedoes that's supposed to be targeting power systems. It hit uh it hit voxel. Uh, yeah, okay, they get, yeah, those are probably trying to go for um, the underground part of the base. Can you dumb fire those? That's fine. Hmm? No, those were guiding. Here comes the next round. Oof! As you maneuver. I uh, thought I'd close in a bit and uh, use some of the secondary weapons because I think <laughs> most of the guns are gone. I think they are. Make sure, <laughs> Just shall we? Just to be sure. I think this might be the first uh, guns fired in anger at a player grid. Yeah. Oh, uh, there are some wind turbines, a whole bunch of them at the top, on just single blocks. Well, I mean, if you want to take manual control of... Uh, oh, my the word! Wheels. That went all the way through! Oh, right. I can do that, can I? Uh, let's see. What weapon? Oh, you're, it's, it's firing at the ground. Oh, my word. Yeah, you're firing. You're firing at something. What's that? Uh, you're firing yeah. directly at the ground. I will just switch off the rail guns because the, the ammo is reasonably expensive. Uh, let's see. What is that? Punisher. Is that what I need? Um, Thrasher. Thrasher for the flax. Okay, so Alchemy, if you watch our previous stream, uh, we left the base and sort of became nomads. Well, turns out one player decided that it's our base... Would... It's not firing for me, I don't know why. Despite the fact that I'm controlling it. Go ahead, Clark. Yeah. That our base looked... Uh, no worries. That our base looked like a mighty juicy grid to take over, so they decided to, to move in. And uh, well, we they, took they, exception they, to they that. Didn't, they didn't move in so much as they hacked several of the assemblers. Now, most of his base is underground here. We've just removed most of his anti-reaver stuff. Yeah, it's just more of a unit <laughs> so, of rage. So if they than die, than die, then, I mean, like, whatever, right? It's not our are those fault. avalanches, or those are guardians? Guardians. Also, they... As soon as they heard that we were planning a raid on them, they left the server thinking yes. that it would keep them safe, and uh, now they can't can rejoin. I don't know if you can see. Yep. But there appears to be a hangar leading down to the ground, into the ground over there. Yeah, I have seen that. Okay. Manually targeting it is something of an issue there. Yeah. So it looks like there's still a place for uh, spinal and, and fixed mount weapons. Yeah, um, I mean this has some, but I think flick, flicking to try and use yeah, them it might be a little too dangerous. Gravity, yeah. Oh, those PDCs are chewing up that tower. Granted, he didn't build any of this. 
He took it over. It is pretty beautiful. Uh, I wish I could manually target that. Actually, you know what? Pardon me. I'll be right back. <laughs> You're getting in with a grinder. Well, it's the only thing I can think of to do. Could you uh, fire again so I can see where the base is? Uh, yeah. Scarlet, you've been awful fire quiet. Right. No. Plotted. Nothing. I'm just working. I'm working on some retrofit. Okay. We need more iron. All right. Have we... Uh... Hang on, there's a car container here. I've officially hacked uh, it. I hacked it back. Also, with uh, oh, oh no. What's oh no? It's that Erin bug again. <laughs> uh, I have removed his wind generators. Returning to ship. Excellent. Yeah, so unfortunately we have suffered a little bit of damage because of, the, of that bug with the Aryan missiles. It it's not a bug, it's itself. intentional. It's a feature. The missile... I, I thought it was intentional with the um, subgrids. I think yeah. it, it's the... The weapon, so that weapon can, because it's a smart projectile, can hit its parent if it's set that way. She did not do that intentionally for that one. Oh, okay. She didn't realize that was a setting that was changed. But it is something that it can be done yeah. intentionally. They, uh, Darkstar's blaming, or well, p people blame Aaron, but it's really Darkstar's fault for changing something and not telling anyone. Yes. Hello, Scarlet. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I like your suit. Oh, thank I'm, you. I'm satisfied, Damn. Kander. Are you satisfied? Does right, it look I familiar? Uh, it <laughs> okay, let's head back to the base. Um, I am wondering, is there yes. anything that can be ground down to use for iron? Or do I have to go mining? Uh, we probably have to go mining. Although, uh, okay. well, Kander mentioned that there is a an, an NPC tower around here that we can grind. Okay. Yeah, it's, I think, about southwest, if I remember correctly. I have a GPS. Hang on. I have but, found a spot to mine iron. It's like 600 meters from where we're all parked. I do love this ship, Kander. Oh, thank you. My only suggestion would be maybe we wait till um, it's daylight before we go. Yes. Because I think there are oh, yeah. going to go get weapons on that tower. There, there are some. Um, I tried. To, I took out all the external ones I could see. All right, Candid, we're headed back to the, the old base, right? Oh, oh the rover's okay. still there. No. <laughs> Full of lots of goodies. Okie dokie, Roger that. Again, you just have to get me close enough to. Uh, you just have to get me close enough to jetpack down, reasonably. I mean, I could probably do it from here, but it's more fun to fly around in the ship because it's cool. <laughs> Holy crap, you have so many striker missiles. Still. Yep. Although I'm less enthused. We get... They didn't used to... I don't know if it's just that I've, I've been really lucky up until now and they've never hit the, the ship, but I, I have, I've never had them do damage to the ship before. You know, it doesn't look like it did too much. Was it just a single missile that struck? Uh, it was a few. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it, it held up like... pretty well. It looks like we lost, what, a single railgun turret? Yeah, and to be fair, I was thinking of just ripping those off anyway because they're expensive to upkeep. Okay. And we've left Druvis's base, yes? Yes, we've left it. Okay, because we are not stone aging. No. No. I mean, to be fair, we all we did was shoot up the stuff above ground, and I know all the juicy stuff is underground, so... Mm. It was, was a, a mild, mild punitive raid rather than a uh, strike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but also uh, a gentle on notice we know where you live <laughs> yes <laughs> There is a taenite thing here, iron and nickel. Really That's close. Where I'm starting to mine now. Okay, can Oh, I'll, really? I'll pop off I here don't just see so you don't you. Have to Wait, fly where are there. you? Underground a little bit? Uh, Bye. Do you have a GPS Bye. to where you initially started drilling? I wonder if there's more than one that's nearby. I, I think it so. Must be. Yeah, I think so. Because I don't see yeah, you anywhere a, nearby. There are a few. Um, uh, I mean, we're probably going to need to mine a few of them. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Space Brian Captain Rush says, I'd say... I'll back up. I'd say, remind me not to antagonize you, DE, but it's just so fun. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun and like we didn't stone age anyone we weren't planning on it like but it's just more of a hey you touched our stuff we're gonna touch yours our touching may have been <laughs> slightly more enthusiastic I suppose purposeful yes very purposeful stuff touching Yes. <laughs> we could use a different word, but we're not going to. What? What Never would that mind. be? I don't Never know. mind. Don't Which know is what... the smallest Epstein? Uh, depends. Do you mean small, small grid smallest or just large, smallest? Smallest large. Uh, I think that's the Avalon. I think that's the one you've got on the back of the yeah. refinery rover. Oh, the, the one we have we have two of on the back of the refinery rover. Um, did you want me to put a warhead with a timer on this thing? Or should we just leave it for now? Uh, well, it we, might put we, people on notice. Are we never coming back? Oh, I'll just leave it alone for now. I did get a bunch of stuff, so that's good. It's going to take me a little longer to get back than it takes candor. Yes, although I, I do have to go up and then across because I don't want to burn up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of re-entry effects, <laughs> you, you can probably see that from up down there. Uh... Oh, it's, it's finished any. now. It's There we go. It's happening again. Oh, yeah. There you are. Because <laughs> our sync distance is what? 15? Uh, 10 or 15, something like that. Well, I'm in route with a bunch of goodies. Did you see that GPS I posted earlier, uh, Clonk? Uh, yeah, let me add it to my HUD before I forget. Nope, it's already gone. Okay, I can share it again. <laughs> Anderson Man says, I hope you wash your bullets. Who knows where they were before you fired them? Well, this has been an interesting beginning stream so far. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, hello, Malloy. I didn't see you there. I see the wave. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm out in the atmosphere now. And uh, I think I can see it below me, but Zori has sent me the GPS. Um, has any frame or anything been laid down for the flagship? The start of one. Okay. I'm on the way back, and I will assist in construction. I'm bringing I'm bringing many much things. Although I realize this rover doesn't actually have a proboscis to offload stuff, so that's a thing. Ah, I think we can suffer the hardship of unloading it by hand if you've got a decent amount of stuff. Uh, or we can build something. Yeah. Cookie Monster just opens up a bunch of grinders and eats the whole thing. Like, there we go, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> nom, 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 nom. 
Sorry, you wanted to keep that rover? <laughs> it is a fun little thing. He says, piloting his... Okay, so I gained 200,000 kilograms of ore. <laughs> By the so way. So what you're saying is he needs an Epstein. Well, not, not of ore, of, uh, of ingots. No, I'm still fine. I'm cruising at 41 meters a second across the desert. You're saying you need an Epstein. <laughs> All rovers need Epsteins. <laughs> yes, new server rule. <laughs> all, all rovers must have Epstein's. I, my face hurt after last stream. <laughs> just watching the rovers <laughs> go because of Epstein's. It's just, I just see like this massive rover that could, under its own power, could barely move at like two or three meters a second. We put a couple of uh, thrusters on it to make it go a little faster. Then after some hemming and hawing, <laughs> we put an Epstein on it and it just goes away. Just, <laughs> I couldn't keep up with it. In this rover. I couldn't keep up with it with the Epstein on. And I, all I could see in my head was like Scarlet, but in the the Jeremy Clarkson uh, speed <laughs> gif. <laughs> speed! Hey, Frogman. It's, it's holding up with the K. A little, little soupy, but it's uh, we've made a bunch of decent uh, optimizations. Doing well. It's okay, Zori. I think I'm realizing this ship I'm building is not big enough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you know, why, you know what this is? You know what this is? This is final, finally being able to build and finish a ship. Is what this is. After, after, is it, it's over a year now of Paradiso, right? Uh, more, more oh, than, yeah. more than, more than, yeah. I at mean, least we're close, more than one. Closing, <laughs> I, I think, we're a year and a half, maybe even closing on two years of Probably various. Probably closing really? on two. Really? What? Th that's been that long. It's it's been a long time I since just, Final it really Scope has. streamed. Every once it's in a while. It's been a long time. People will resubscribe <laughs> and they'll have like the, this is how long I've subscribed, right? And I'm like, wait, I've been streaming that long? Yeah. Wait, what? You can't tell because it's so foggy. Sorry, I just had to get that last line out. <laughs> oh, I, I can care. I think it's a, a weird, weird, weird the end of it. Oh, and now Farrell's saying no DE, bad DE, so now I see. I have to go, but I can see final ship come alive at night because the reavers are dead and they're not gonna blow him up no more. No, they're not gonna crush his head because he's got a server which it packs and less enthusiastic NPC attacks. Uh, I'm out. Sorry. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good. That was that was well done. For that, I, I think we should we should petition that become the new intro song. For this <laughs> series. And then I'll That'd be I'll, so I'll, good. I'll record it and then send it to Farrell Clonk. every day. Clonk, what are you doing? My wings won't close. <laughs> <so I'm trying. laughs> Farrell, my chest just goes nab, punch him. Is Clonk currently flailing his way out of the rover? <laughs> I, I'm more elegant than that. Oh, and now, now Lucas <laughs> has arrived. I saw you put it in there. <laughs> Lucas is your final. I don't think you're going to finish your ship. Oh, no. This is usually how it goes, right? Lucas is like, oh, hello. And then everything goes and then awry. It, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, more Reavers show up. I mean, it's so interesting. There's got to be a way that he can, like, slip some code in that he can remote into anything running one of his mods. <laughs> We're just telling people to clip and clip and remix it. You know what I keep waiting for, but I, as far as I know, hasn't happened. So you know when you weld up a block and it goes ting ting ting. I keep waiting for a remix of that tool sound. Ting 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 ting. Yeah, ting, ting, like in all the different tool sounds because they they. Oof, 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 I'm falling down the hole. Oh, we could put that one in there, too. <laughs> oof, 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 I'm falling down the hole. Oof, 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 I'm anyway, falling down the hole. Nice gilded that, hole, man. Falling really down the cool. hole. I think it'd be really cool if they yeah. did the tool sounds, and it would be cool. 
Why is it that without any modifications, one day these work, and then the next, well, well one week these work, and then the next they don't? Space engineers. I do enjoy the fact that, you know, we have we had Klein drives, and now we have railgun propulsion systems. <laughs> <laughs> Because, of course, we would. Yes, but the the (laughs) railguns that you have to shoot in in the direction you want to go and, I don't know, interdimensional elastic fires you forward. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Tink, 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 tink. I come from a land down under. (laughs) 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 Oh, man. Can we get Capac to sing that? He'd probably (laughs) sing it. He I would, would love would. that. That'd be amazing. Although I don't know, I don't know how much uh, he actually enjoys that song because I feel like perhaps actual Australians might be like, "Ah, oh, yeah, that's very funny." Kind of like good Americans. News, everyone, I, I did just. Go ahead. I say good news, everyone. I did just accidentally find the button to uh, trigger the shotguns in the front. Don't worry. <laughs> So what you're saying is there's now a little bit of extra orbital debris up there? Yeah. Uh, specifically a lot of extra orbital debris. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Zori did send me the Temple of Josh's location, so it's a thing we can do now. I'm 19 kilometers out. I do, I do love how much glee I heard in Kander's voice when I told him that he was cleared to engage. <laughs> you may fire when ready. Yes. Clunk, how can I help you? Um, <laughs> the way you said uh, that. That's a, that's a loaded question. <laughs> what, my what? problem is the SC physics that allowed my wings to work last week now don't allow my wings to work and they can only fold like this far whereas before they were able to fold all the way up to 90 degrees where it's not like I can yes. fold about 10 degrees the uh, nab cam is now up so everyone can see what's happening Clonk has gotten himself into a pickle well actually he's gotten himself into a cookie monster and he's stuck now hand is can stuck you? in the cookie monster now, you know really, never really mind <laughs> I can't get well, this puppet cookie off cookie monster is a puppet yeah C is for clunk. It's good enough for me. (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) See, I feel like if we could just jump on this wing enough, we could get it to fold. (laughs) (laughs) Literally just have an engineer jumping on it. What torque are the hinges set at? Are they at max torque? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, my rotors are at max stork right now. Oh. Nothing's happening. Uh, well, now nah, go get the warheads. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to blow it up. I'm going to see if removing the cord fixes it. Is there a way to clear a target once you've targeted it? Uh, uh yes. Uh, I just don't know what it is. Uh, it was probably in one of those yes. uh, lists of patch notes that Darkstar releases every time he re- updates the mod. So I think yes. what you want to do to clear the target is you keep firing until the target is gone. <laughs> until the target is gone. <laughs> I've found that always works for me. Oh, that scared me. Cookie Monster sees this rover. Cookie! Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what it happens when it sees a reaver, too. Those uh, turrets are definitely not for show. So I'm thinking with the uh, guided weapons propensity for occasionally removing large chunks out of the launching ship that we're going to want a large open planes of firing for said weapons. So battleship. Yeah. So I've found and I, thinking back on when I fired most of the weapons when I when I I've mostly done it in space when this thing is normally pointing at the target. Um, yeah. so the missiles have had a lot easier go of it. I mean, even then, 
with the salvo launchers, although they started clipping towards the end, for most of those shots, particularly at long range, it was fine. It was only when I got closer um, and they had to turn at a more, you know, at a tighter angle that uh, it became an issue. Yeah. Okay, Nab, I have a plan, but What's there's no guarantee it's a good plan. I want you to close the hangar door most of the way. What? Wait, uh, aren't you still inside the hangar door? Yes. yes, but I need to get my wing folded up, and the only way I can think to do that now is to use the hangar doors. What, are, you shove... what are your wings made out of? Solar panels. Could I suggest possibly just grinding off the solar panels and building them again building after you're outside? Insanity. That would never work. Final, final. You seem like a really small chap. Close the hangar doors on me. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Clonk's definition of reasonable is insane. <laughs> oh, I'm not no. seeing any doors close. I don't know where the. Where's the. Do I have to go into a seat and do that? There's a bottom oh, panel on. by the right wing. I'm sorry, Clonk. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clonk. I'm I afraid can't even I get can't out. do that. <laughs> I have to go around. Oh, man. I look over because I see a chat message pop up, and by the time my eyes focus on it, it's this message retracted, and I'm like, nah! Okay. Press the big red button to your right. I... <sighs> was, the, was the message perhaps... Why are there a load of holes in my face? No, you've got to close it more. <sighs> just you've got to squish me just enough. But I don't. Okay. I don't think this is gonna work. And then I'm gonna. I'm just gonna be over here, ten kilometers away, and suddenly okay, see open. Cookie Monster flying into space on Clang powers. <laughs> yeah, really. Closing hangar doors on hinges is like how you make a Clang drive. <laughs> the rotors. Okay. Uh, no well, worries on you. So much for that. Yeah. Well, we didn't die. Hooray. Nothing exploded. Prepare the warhead, Commander! Oof. I'm just confused. You know, like, the last time we played, you had major troubles getting into this area because of those wings. I don't understand why, did, why we didn't, like... Oh! You know, you should have just I, ground I think... them off. <laughs> <laughs> just I, say, I, I think off. you're finding why we didn't fix it. <laughs> it's just, let's just, just not deal with that it problem today. <laughs> well, and there you go. You could have just ground them off instead of wrecking them. Did, uh, did you eject them, Clonk, or did those actually break off? I ejected them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Getting man. Getting out of the hangar is future Clonk's problem. It's future Clonk's problem. <laughs> really is. No, no, I'm, it's totally I like a... <laughs> I had a great plan to get out. It's just when I pressed the button to do the thing, nothing happened. And it was like, uh-oh. This I tested this last session. It worked. But now, now it's not. Yep. That's space engineers. It's like uh, when I was in Wrong Way Up, and I was like, okay, here's this missile that I've spent literally hours on perfecting and and working down and figuring out exactly how to work it. And I launch it, and it's like, I'm pitching up constantly. I'm like, oh my gosh, it was not doing this in my single player world. But if you come from the land down under, it has to go back up, I guess. Because it's going the wrong way up. Was I asking? I'm watching you. I'm watching you. There it is. Me. Always watching. Funny. Your stunned silence is very reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that uh, I made the sort of the armor skegs around the. Uh, Epstein out of heavy armor. Yep. Oh, did you crash a little bit? Uh, no. I've just found some of the blocks got hit by missiles and are down to like 10%. Ah. So one more missile probably and it, I would have taken out the main drive and I would have fallen like a stone. It would have all looked very silly, but especially me. 
Ah, we've sent a message. Flop. <laughs> and the message is, we're not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that would have been really funny, though. <laughs> yeah, that showed you. Showed you? We expended our entire navy on you. <laughs> I mean, it would have been a mixed thing, because uh, it would have meant that what I suspect, although I don't know, what I suspect is one of the most heavily armed ships in the server would have been immobilized next to his base. And of course, you would have just turned the weapons on and been like, yeah, that's good. Well, yeah, got, got to keep an eye out for Reavers. <laughs> I have a new idea for B-Wings. Uh, I, I think that might be trademarked by... Uh, Lucasfilm or something. So maybe with like maybe call it a beta wing or. Oh know. oh, I haven't even thought about. I know I, I know. <laughs> okay, for B E E wings. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful. You don't want a, a waspish response off of Lucasfilm. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, now we've kicked over the hive. Just you wait until you get back, okay? I mean, I'm almost back. I think that sounded like a threat. It did sound like a threat. Player disconnected candor because it, he's decided what sound like? to go to sleep. Uh, well, almost. I want to quickly finish up these repairs before I head off, but uh, I'm F5-ing because uh, none of the armor defamation is updating for me. I hate that. So it's making it really hard to see what I've actually fixed and what I haven't. Beta airfoil better not take any chance. <laughs> yeah, but this is this I wouldn't call this a beta anything. Like it's at least pre alpha. <laughs> <laughs> it's not ready. Oh, so it's an NFT. Yes. No, it, it's it's actually it actually does something and doesn't kill the planet. In fact, bees are good for the planet. <laughs> NFTs actually kill bees. I don't know if that's true, but it sounds good on paper. Quick, someone write it in a clickbait article and be like, uh, "Crypto miners don't want you to know this one weird trick." Yeah, I'll teach them. Now I can now all I can think of is the uh, the XKCD where the, where they put honeycombs to the server rack. <laughs> that miner just showed up. Okay, so. Oh, I'm back in and things are on fire. Why would they be on fire? Uh, well, I knew there was one flat cannon that was damaged, but apparently I couldn't see the damage effect until I arrived. Oh, well, that's interesting. I managed to open the door, and then I was rear-banded back, like, 15 meters. Oh, 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 wait, woo! Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Someone's joining again. Yeah, that's the British Mostly Empire. Candor. It's the British Empire doing its thing. Well, if I can't have fun, no <laughs> one can. Well, precisely. I can't afford I any like... battleships. No one should build battleships. Or at least none that are really big. Alchemy is saying like... with the grid thing that you need to uh, grind down and then go back up. I'm going to get a drink of water. I'll be right back. Donation detected. I will get these these wings to work properly, I swear. It will just take me a couple iterations.
Are you going to use these discarded wings down here? Mm-hmm. Once I, once I, once I get the uh, wing bits up here, oh, Bill. Thank you, Hammerbee. Uh, I was uh, going to fix these broken wings and learn to fly again. Hammerby has purchased a uh, uh, super chat, and he meant to How say, kind. "De has a built-in clang drive," but. He actually it's typed, <laughs> DE has a guilt in Clang Drive, which I almost like better. I see the flagship's engines are here. Yes. Do you see how many of them there are? Scarlet, we're going to burn up on takeoff. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Not if you build the, it big enough. The, the world track, is track going to burn up. Down. I didn't place any of this, FYI. This is uh, all... This is all final. This is all final. Yes. This is not nearly... <laughs> if I had placed this, this would be one thruster pod. This. Oh, I see. This is just the yeah, escape the pod. Yeah, that's just the, the escape shuttle. Nah, that's, not, that's, that's the captain's yacht that, you know, detaches from under, uh, underneath. But you can only fly it if you sing Gilbert and Sullivan the whole time. Oh, yeah. I, I see no problems with this. That... I know a lot of people cringe at that scene. That might be my favorite part of that Star Trek movie. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Like, people are like, oh, they're singing. I'm like, they're singing, but they're singing well, and it's awesome, and you can tell that they're just happy to be doing... Uh, they're happy to be doing <laughs> and theater. Wolf really doesn't want to. <laughs> yeah. All right, Alchemy, you have a good night. I don't know if we're going to make a ship in time. There's a lot going I on. I don't think so. I did ask. I was assured. Well, I mean, this is the scale. This is larger than I was thinking, but, you know, whatever. Zori is online. You Ooh. did say flagship. I did. <laughs> I did say flagship. And then you were like, but we shouldn't. We should do a wagon train to the stars kind of thing. So I was thinking, oh, so it'll be like smaller. No, Sorry, yeah, says, I was... prepare for lag. Uh huh. I uh, I was thinking the same, and then I'm like, mm, they still they still need a big ship with a wagon train. Also, I started putting down one engine and was like, this isn't big enough. So <laughs> just use more smaller engines. It's fine. I did. I used four Tachis, and then I was like, this isn't big enough to fit any of the rovers. <laughs> I thought Cookie Monster was going to be the carry all. But like, Kooky Monster can still be the carry-all, but this, I mean, this is most of this ship. <laughs> um, Always rely on uh, on finals, well, both final and Scarlet to make me look, look sane. I'm almost wondering if we just put a uh, welder proboscis on Cookie Monster... And just drive it over here. <laughs> you might, you, know, you might need to build a, yeah, you might need to build like a, a welder crane because these engines are. It's going to be ten thousand uh, steel plate just to build those two engines. Yeah, Good I've God. maybe we leave the engines to the last. Yeah, I've I've put twenty three hundred in one of the engines. Yeah. Maybe we get the skeleton at least built before we build the engines. Are these the Donager engines? Is that what these are? No, these are... Uh... Oh, maybe they are. They are. Coming on. It's the... Yeah, those are, the, those are the monster Donager ones. These are These are enough. only two of them. I need the biggest ones possible! <laughs> I've just murdered myself Let's because see. of lag. Looks like we'll... Now I feel I mean, like a blank the, uh, space engineer. ones do sit. In a nice gap between the Patachi and the uh, uh, Donager ones. Do we want a down rate or do we need that lift? Uh, well, without knowing. I add something. I say, without knowing what the rest of this is going to look like, um, it's hard to say. Okay, I'm just going to wait. I'm making it up as I go here. I can't move. I'm just going to wait for Zori to finish streaming everything in.
I really wish Space Engineers had a, or whatever the streaming problem was. It seems like it would be something that would be simple enough to fix, honestly. You think that? Um, so, Clonk, you have this beautiful blue glitter, um, but there are a couple of blocks that are just gray. Is this an oversight? Uh, that's Final's problem. Ah, it's an oversight. <laughs> <laughs> we can paint them. No, I mean like I've I haven't had gray in my palette since since I logged in. Basically, I logged in. The first thing I did was go, "Ooh, pretty blue," and take it. Glitter. So I I haven't had that gray in my palette. So that's the only person who'd be building with that is Final. Yes. Hence, it's his problem because he is the one who is causing it, not he is the one who who has to deal with it. Cookie Monster's current is static grid, correct? Uh, no. Cookie Monster is mobile but connected to the main base. But it's connected to the main base, which makes it a static grid. Yes. Okay. Uh, but interestingly, not static enough for a pipe a pipeline. Yes. Surprise. So it's it's semi static. Yeah, basically. Uh, as an FYI, it looks like although we're okay for the time being it looks like we are starting to run a little low on ice i do see um an olivine deposit about 500 meters away from the refinery rover at sort of down 45 degrees so probably um tomorrow i'll probably tap that and uh that'll solve our ice problem and our magnesium problem sounds good well we have a magnesium problem but Oh no, Scarlet! <laughs> what? I've seen. I've seen what you're doing. I initially thought that you'd taken it to Detroit, and that's why it was up on blocks. But <laughs> I see what you're doing. Uh, I'm just put. Well, I mean, I'm just. You know, your destroyer needs a little Corvette to go with it. <laughs> uh, fun fact: This originally was only supposed to be about two thirds as long as it ended up being, but it sort uh -huh. of suffered from scope creep. Oh, well, so it's. Uh... Did you put a bigger engine on it too? So what you're telling yeah, me? Yeah, I mean. It... Go ahead. Take ahead. I was gonna say. So what you're telling me is it's a Royal Navy ship. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because that would be uh, the other way round. It would start off being a certain size and it would end up about two thirds of the length. Uh, the but yes, the extra engine wasn't essential but um first of all it looked a bit weird because it had this really tiny skinny um end that um it landed on and it just looked really odd um and also if i fully filled it with cargo there was a reasonable chance it was just going to uh, fall out the sky i mean more than it has already And on that happy note, at quarter past five in the morning, I think we're going to go to bed. Good night, oh, Kander. Good. Good night, Kander. Good night. Thanks for good playing. Night. It was fun and... watching you annihilate something. <laughs> and and may <laughs> your home be protected from the nastiness. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, luckily, I'm not uh, in the uh, danger area, but, uh, yes. but yeah, thank you. The roof's not meant to blow off. No, it's really not. <laughs> Have a good sleep, sir. Thank you. See you all later. Uh, 
Uh, that, was, that was not faction chat. No, it was not. Why did I just die? Uh, because you're playing Space Engineers, my dear. But... But... Uh, but I didn't want to die. I did not. I didn't want to die. Oh, there's a welder here, friends. Oh, yeah, there is. That's Final's problem. Yes, Why did you I have leave been putting... a welder here? <laughs> what have you done? You killed me. You killed me. Uh, it was a, it's a, it's a self-repair system. <laughs> it might be damaging to the crew. Cannot confirm or deny. I've been slowly uh, removing them now, and I, I, I only haven't said anything because I was hoping Final wouldn't know. So I've been uh, removing them for crew safety. Yeah, I was just like, so it had hurt me once, and I was like, why did I just get hurt? And then it didn't happen again, and then suddenly I was dead. So that happened. Killed me dead. Are the refineries on Cookie Monster, sorry, not refineries, the assemblers on Cookie Monster fully uh, kitted up with speed modules? Uh, there, you mean the Logi Rover? Yes. Oh, right. We have a Logi Rover. There's no rover. assemblers on them. Yeah. The Logi Rover's got all the assemblers. There's just two of them? Yeah. Uh, I think it's just two of them. Okay. Yeah, oh. it's just two of them, and they're full out on... Uh, Speed. Zerenia is praising Clang and chat. Uh, final, I don't know if you can tell, but I have built a proboscis. And I'm slowly welding it up to get these ridiculous I... engines welded. I didn't even see, but there you are. Yes, I do see now. Currently, all the production is going into building these things. I am not surprised. Hey, Southern Art Gaming. Thanks for swinging by. You might need another uh, static iron mine. Uh, there's a bunch of iron inside of the little rover. Yeah, I'm just thinking about steel plates and. I am mining, but uh, the refining of ore is slow going. Yeah, it's very slow. I'm mining as well. For ships? Because it's almost not worth the energy to hand mine at this stage of. Uh, consumption and production. I don't have a ship. I'm just doing it. Okay. I've made it to the elbow. Anderson Man, I would do that, but there are just so many other ports on this rover. I will get these engines welded. I will do it. We might want to weld up uh, one of the sprues. Oh, just in case? Yeah. 
Actually, what we could probably do is weld up one of the sprues and weld up the heavy armor frame holding the engines on. Yeah. It's so soupy, interesting that it almost doesn't matter. But yeah, I mean, normally you're right. I do love this five by one conveyor mod. Like I, I love it so much. Yeah, it's pretty great. Uh, speaking of giant engines, how are we on the fuel situation? I haven't checked. Do we have one of those slow burn um, ice things? We used to. I think the Lodgy Rover has two full tanks on it. That's not going to be enough for this. Wait, uh, BD. They're Epstein's, so... Yeah, but doesn't, like, BD live on an ice lake? Yes, he does. Uh, yes. Or did. They don't anymore. Oh. Wonder what they would want for the coordinates to that. I don't know. Um, I did put a, um... So there's a... A conveyor sprue here that will be useful for, like, getting stuff into the ship. And then we can use welders to build the rest of it. Yeah. I hope this welder is close enough. It should be. It should be. Okay, rush. I was going to get several more thrusters, hammer me. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's welding. Is doing the thing. Oh, hey, it's going to be daytime. Yes. Are we low on steel plate already? Are you back at the base? Yeah. Yeah, we're, yes. Yes, we are. But why, though? Well, um, look around. Look around, look around. <laughs> and how many blocks must be welded up? Also, Final's entire thing is made out of heavy armor, so that's probably part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and we'll, yeah, we'll work on the the flagship here with, it'll be a little less heavy armor, but still a bunch. I'm going to start building uh, steel plates on my little rover. It won't go fast, but it'll go. Just another production queue. Yeah. Um, Skoka's working on another iron static drill. Cool, cool, cool. So we should have, I think that's like three or four different drills. Is there a wreck nearby? There is. I think Klonk's been scrapping this tower, I think. Oh, okay. I haven't. I've been messing around with making a reliable uh, wing folding mechanism. <laughs> Where is said tower? Oh, I think I... Wait, no. That, yep, I see it. Yeah, it's to the southwest, towards the Atlas. Oh boy. 
Hopefully I'll be back with a bunch of steel plates. You know that that was me accidentally setting my batteries to recharge instead of Oh, is that what that was? <laughs> yeah. I'm really glad I wasn't underneath you. Did you see Wah! Oh, why is this here? <laughs> why is this hole here? Okay, so I don't know if you saw whoa, somebody connected or something. Yeah, that but, was a word. um there nope. Ooh. All right, well okay. okay. Why is it always when I'm flying? I okay. know right? Clonk, Clonk, you should stop. And just wait until whatever the heck is happening is done. Um, but I was standing next to your ship and you moved and you were like pushing me out of the way while I was getting Deadly Salvage Binge List up for my chat. Oh, uh, sorry. No, that's okay. But it was funny because I was in the middle of saying something when you dropped like that and I stopped and looked at you <laughs> before I kept going. So oh, I have a. I have a wing mechanism Engineers. now that yeah. will allow me to get Thank in and out of the hangar for I this session. That. We'll see if it still works next week. Good morning, Shin. Ooh. That's a lot of chunk. Yes, yeah. so much chunk. So, oh. what just? how did you manage to get, get the wings to work? Because I uh, saw you just fly right out, but I don't know how you did that. So uh, I'll sh here. I'll show you. It, just no, you don't have to come back. <laughs> you don't have to come back. Just explain I know, it. I know, but like stand on the middle of my rover, like just on top of the body there. Yeah. So so the the way it works is on your left is the rotor, on your right is the rover. So when the wings are open, they're like this, and then when, that, when they close, I take this one wing in here. Uh huh. Hmm. Oh, it goes like, you're going to flatten me and I don't like it. It's rude. Very rude. Well, I'm just crouching, I know. <laughs> I see this tower and I'm reminded of something that just recently exploded. Look at you folding them all up. That's so cute. So it doesn't quite work. Um. So what ends <laughs> up happening is this but well, it's, it's good enough to get me in the door and then yes. i can go through the laborious process of scoot unfold <laughs> scoot unfold well it's awesome good job good problem solving clunk i totally didn't steal this off this idea off someone else <laughs> no one else if you're in chat be quiet please <laughs> i need this oh you said the gaming yeah, Deadly Salvage does end on a cliffhanger. Uh, it's because it's not done yet. Yeah, it doesn't end on a cliffhanger. It's it never ends. It goes forever. That's a lie. There is actually <laughs> an end in, in somewhere. Lies. <laughs> Just because you don't want it to end, Scott, doesn't mean that it won't end eventually. It will never end. Technically, Perfect. everything ends with the heat death of the universe. So... You know, if we can just keep it going that long. Oh, so is that wreck like safe for me to go to that scrap bunker thing? Yes, I'm actually here. I'm going to start uh, building a proboscis on this and start chewing it up with something with large cargo capacity. Although the only spot for a large cargo container is this reactor, so I'm filling the interior volume with a bunch of small cargo containers because they fit. Why is there a place with, like, no block here? This is really confusing to me. I just feel like it was not put here, and it was an accident, but I don't like changing other people's designs, so I don't know. Is it on the bottom of the ship? 
No, I don't. Well, kind of. Yes. Probably a mistake then, because I think there was a missing block there that I just never got around to actually replacing, because I was okay. using it to get in and out of that space. super quiet right now we're all building i'm not i'm destroying are you here mm -hmm. i'm gonna put a grinder per grop per 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 proboscis on this see if i can, oh, okay. can do with a uh a rover a rover Another. And another and another and another. I've gone through all the iron in this rover that I had. No, I haven't. What the heck? Why are small steel tubes and motors going into the ingot side of the assembler right now? I didn't touch it. I don't know. It's on disassemble mode, is it? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'll go check. Ronan's asking me how the gold holes are, and uh, I don't think we have any right now, do we? We don't. No. No gilded holes this time. That's a shame. Yeah. It is. It will live in infamy in our Saturday Survival Series. It really will. Back when we were, like, super tiny. We're still tiny, but we were super tiny. So small. So small. Very small. Yay, the sun's up. I can see everything. Um, I need to reload. I could tell oh. because there are a pair of solar panels grinding down this wreck. Nothing but the solar panels. Oh, no, there he is. <laughs> oh, he popped in. That was hilarious. Look, it, it, the bee, when it oh. feels threatened, can turn invisible. The wings, <laughs> not so much. I add these last two cargo containers. I'm going to build the proboscis and start chewing it up and bring it back over. Okay. By the way, you can just, instead of grinding yourself, you can just pull from the bee. Okay. Thank you, Rush. Also, it's true, screw like, I, I know you haven't really streamed with the bee, but it's it's really funny to drive because it it's so slow 
and so awkward that it does just bump into things as it's grinding like a bee does. So it's just very much the bumblebee? Yeah, it's, it's very bumblebee-esque. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll just move forward and, I'll like, my, my little grinding arms will just bump into the blocks and then bounce back. Game paused. That was exciting. Oh, I'm all the way back. Okay. I'm over here now. Ooh, all right. We'll just stand here for a second. I didn't move at all. I'm going to take a drink of water while I sit here and wait. Oh. I can't place blocks. Oh, there we go. That was exciting. Somebody's connecting. This is the live Space Engineers experience that you too can enjoy. Well, if you're not playing on a server that's rented from a data center anyway. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. The dulcet tones of lag. What the who? Yeah. Hashtag blame Vice Core. What? Hashtag Why? Blame connecting. Team Software House. From the Knights of Josh. There you go. I think we're good. Okay, I gotta find a place to put this thing. I'm also, if, going here. If you really want to pilgrimage to the the Temple of Josh, the bee has spare suits. Let's just fly there, the bee. Let me see how far away it is. One moment. Oh, what the? Zori! I did not see it. I thought you DM'd it, and I, I had a thing, but it was actually a ping. Just send it to me in Discord. I don't have a location for the temple. Smash your, your face on a wall. I'm in the hole and it's throwing me around the rocks. It's not my fault. Blame Vice Corp. I heard something go clang. I know I could do this with a rotor control block, but I'm going to do it with uh, build vision because it's going to be more precise and I can use pistons more easily.
Nah, but it sounds like out of my headphones. It sounds like you're going through a roller coaster. It's a rock slide. Oh, very, very clever. Thanks. Very clever. Surprised Vinyl didn't sigh. <sighs> Yay! Making a trek to the Temple of Josh. That was the plan, but I don't know if we're going to get there. Um, she still hasn't sent me the GPS. She asked me, did you get it? And I thought I did because I uh, had a, a ping, but the ping was just you pinging. The temp, the temp, uh, wow, I cannot speak. The temple of Josh was in our hearts all along. <laughs> <laughs> There's no physical location. Apparently they're calling it the Taj. The Taj? T-O-J, temple of Josh. The Taj Majaj. <laughs> <laughs> and Commander Compton sells stale, needs more cowbell. That's how he sounds, that's how, uh. 100% exactly how Chris, Christopher Walken sounds. Exactly. I've got a because fever. They can only be cured by more cowbell. I guess he hates that skit now. He, yeah, well, that's. Everybody knows him with that skit instead of all of the other incredible work he's done. That's what you get for going on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, well. That's what you get. Well, that's what yeah. you get from being Christopher Walken and being a dog. <laughs> uh, just walking around. And I just, I mean, like, Saturday Night was the original meme channel, so became a meme before memes were a thing. I mean, memetics have been a thing long before Saturday Night Live, if we want to get real technical. Real technical. You know, that's Super. our favorite thing to do here. Super technical. Uh, final, I think you're going to need to sigh again. Ronan just said something in chat. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's a Taj Mahal -er. Oh, I love it. You can just, I want, see, but now I want to have it Taj Mahal. -a. Finally, you need to add another emote that's actually clunk that, that just says, get ready, final. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Really? Oh man! At least I don't do like weird things like interrupt your your live stream to tell you to restart the server. So yeah, that would be really weird. <laughs> You're not at all. Who would do that? Revert the save. Revert the save. Is that what it was? I can't remember. Uh, De, you must re revert the save. I have done something bad. Uh, something like that. Yeah. I've made a mistake, I think it was. I've made a mistake. Or a, an error, like a, a, it was like a word for very large and unfortunate, but I don't remember what he said exactly. I always go back to that one somewhere. I don't even know which one it was. <laughs> There's so many of them. There are so many. I can't believe there are some people who watch every single episode of Saturday Survival and it just blows my mind.
Oh, <laughs> well, I'm glad the chat filter caught that. Uh, yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> glad it did too. Let's go ahead and delete that one. Did somebody make an oops? Uh, no, that wasn't an oops. That was a definite on purpose. What did it say? No. <laughs> okay, now the dangerous part. Driving forward. I'm being, I'm, being shoot. I'm being shot. <laughs> what the? I thought you said this was perfectly safe. I thought so too. I was told by Candor. Or maybe final. I don't remember. Yeah, there's something I inside. remember. Uh, Candor. I remember Candor saying something like, it still has guns. Oh, it's got guns inside. I see them. They can't shoot me now. Well, I'm going to eat it. Can you eat the guns first? I'll try to grind those off. I'll go manually grind those off real quick. Thank you. I, I'm worried for my little bee. Yeah, it's had a bad day. Several bad days before. Will you shoot me Second as a person? Second one down. See if it shoots me as a person. No, it doesn't. No more space in huh. inventory. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, there's one over here. What is that? No more space. Uh, heads up, we got a razor coming in. No more space. There was a razor back in my truck. Joanna? Why was there a razor back in my truck? Nobody knows that movie anymore. Quick, do the theme. Do 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 Oh, I've done this wrong. Oh well. Anybody who can name that movie first? Gets points. We're How many points? points? Can, can you do the theme again? <laughs> E.T.? No. No! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What, what, what decade? Uh, it was the 90s. 90s? Early 90s, I think? Yeah, it was the 90s. Early to mid? Pink Panther. No. Uh, I think Space Pirate Captain Rush seems to know what it was, but... Oh, no! <laughs> Lasers inside! Oh, wow. Yes. yes, Space Pirate Captain Rush is correct. It is Rescuers Down Under. Uh, oh, bad. Won't be so reckless. Bianca and Bernard? Yes. Yes. Oh, no. I've been pulse blasted. Many times. Oh, sweet babies that hurt. <sighs> Will it kill me as a person? No. space 
insuit inventory. There we go. Well, now I can fix the things I... Oh, I didn't park it. Oops. Oh, yeah, it's just slowly drifting away. <laughs> Fair souls. For those playing along, you can check Oh Sweet. Check off Oh Sweet Babies on your bingo cards. A BCG bingo card. Mm -hmm. We should we should make BCG bingo cards for whenever it is that we have our BCG uh, convention. Oh yes, it'll be lovely. I wish we could do that like tomorrow. I know. Hey, it would be so much fun. You know what though? It will make is having side are gonna the end of next? like major COVID restrictions so much sweeter though. To be like, haha, we're having a big party. Well, most oh, of the COVID absolutely. restrictions over here are going away next month. Yeah, I'm excited about it. <laughs> yeah. I think most it's of them are nervous. going away mainly because the governor is like, oh, uh, you guys don't like me anymore. I'm going to change this. The, po the polls oh, are going wrong. That's uh Oh, it's election time soon. Oh, better, yeah. better change all these things that Rever no one likes. Reverse the everything I've been saying. science has changed, you guys. The science is different now. I mean, science does do that. Yes, it does to do be that. That's why whenever somebody is like, oh, well, science says this. I'm like, says that right now? Probably change. Yeah. Every five years, there's a reversal on whether or not eggs are good for you. It's really funny. And Anderson, <laughs> man, I didn't build this whole thing. And uh, parenting science changes all the time. Oh yeah, it probably yep. changes between kids. Yep. So like when I'm when I'm so like one of my sisters has uh, a young child. He just turned a year old, and um was like freaking out because she's you know it's the first child and she's been on like mommy pages which are just toxic awful places where every single what do you mean you don't feed your child does. nothing but gluten free whole grain something or another and find this name brand who the celebrity endorsed yeah you think you'd think that mommy groups oh. would Whoa, what was that? There's a razor that's about to be problem. deleted. Oh, oh by the yeah. way, sh is that thrush, thrush a problem? Not for long. Anyway, you'd think that mommy groups would be a, a good place to go where people would be helpful and nice, but no, it's just full of judgment and hate and rage. There are less mommy groups and more mommy poops. <laughs> so I just tell my, my advice to my sister was like, please just stop going to those and throw away any and all parenting books. Stop you, like, doing that. Yeah, just just parent. Just And she was she's the oldest sibling in my family of eight children altogether. And so she helped with parenting all the time, so I'm not entirely certain why she's freaking out about it now cuz she is yes. very capable. You are freaking out. Man. Man. Uh, I think it's interesting how many like MLMs get their hands in places like uh, mommy groups and like nutrition groups and all, all the other like basically every Facebook you can name. There, there's there's a group of like MLM shills. Yep. Yeah. What's an MLM? Uh, a scam. <laughs> Yeah, multi like, level marketing. Like uh, vector marketing or uh, it works or Herbalife. Lulu 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 is they um, they have wrong. you buy 
your inventory from the quote unquote company. From them. Yes. So you buy what you are supposed to sell. And that should be your main. That should be your main. Uh, nope. Uh, if you have to buy the product that they want you to sell, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, it was it was, it was funny. Somebody was telling me, as well, I, I was. They were trying to get me into it, and which I forget which one it was. It was some stupid one. He was like, "They're gonna buy me a Tesla." And actually, what they did is they fronted him fifteen thousand dollars to get a loan for a Tesla. And when I commented that on his Facebook page, he deleted it and blocked me. Because how dare I expose the truth? <laughs> but uh, when I, uh, yeah, you know, I was like, well, I mean, why would I, why would I pay to work for someone? That doesn't make any sense. That that that's just that's completely out of the way. And he's like, well, you pay union dues, don't you? I'm like, oh, you sweet <laughs> summer child. That union is, dues are no way the same as paying a company for their product that they then want you to pay. Yeah. Hey, DE. Yeah. Are those grinders or welders? They are, in fact, grinders. Oh, wait. No, they're welders, aren't they? Did I build welders? I think what's <sighs> upsetting is um, MLM's are able to prey upon people who care a lot about other people the most, which is which is kind of weird when you think about it, but let me put it into perspective. So if you have a community full of people that care about each other and are, uh, and are closely knit, then the idea of, oh, I can help my neighbors or, oh, this product will actually be something that will in you know like make their lives better and selling it will be like a private enterprise and this makes perfect sense and i've got all these people in my in there my... were no private enterprise there were always, always public projects built by right. governments well so anyway it's it it makes no sense when you actually take it apart okay but Anderson man, yes, it's how self-employed merchants work, but self-employed merchants can buy stock from anyone. They can buy stock from anywhere. Whereas yeah. if you're an MLM, you can only buy it from your like however from that it's main like a, the, company. No, it's yeah. like from the coordinator above you is oh, how it well, works. Yeah. Yes. With a lot of MLMs, you're you're getting money based on like how many people you recruit into uh -huh. the program. Yes. So uh -huh. like the predatory aspect of it is like, not only do you have to buy the product, but it's also like your main point of getting money and sales is recruiting more people into so that what's they called buy. your downline. Yeah. So that they buy the yeah. product as well. So they don't actually care how much you're selling. They care how many people that you are recruiting so that they're, they get more money from the people that you recruit. Yep. Who have to buy it's the awful. product. Yeah, it's the worst. Which is why it's called a pyramid scheme. Yeah, every yeah. level levels up to the next level. Yeah. And eventually, it all runs out. Because, like, you know, there are only so many people in the world. You can't just be like, oh, yeah. Here, I've recruited, I've recruited five people, and this person's recruited five people. Like, you're going to run out of people to recruit. Eventually, yeah. And then the, the people at the bottom are just going to stay at the bottom, and it's fine because now the people at the top have all the money they want. And you have to buy a certain amount of items from them each month. Yeah, Ugh. that's where You're it really gets going. Yeah. Yeah. Or there's uh, <laughs> surprising expiry dates on certain products. Mm -hmm. uh, Damus also uh, says that you can't forget that most of those things give you a free lunch and lock you in during the presentation. That is true. If oh, yeah. if yeah. you've got a, if you've got a hey come to this lunch where you learn about this great opportunity, say nah, or say yeah, and go to the lunch and eat a free lunch and then leave. Oh, if only it was that easy. If only they didn't know for an answer. You will not be not not loving your timeshare before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Timeshares are a whole different thing. Oh man. My my grandmother had given 
a timeshare to each of her children as a gift. Because she hated her children. She just, I mean, it was like, okay, look, you all can have these things whenever you want them, right? But you have to pay for them. And if you don't use them, it's not like it rolls over. And one of my uncles had to go through all sorts of crap to get rid of it. Like it was a, it was an ordeal. They don't just let you stop. No. It is, and it, and he didn't even buy it. Like it was just ridiculous. So what what's going on, Scarlet? What do you mean, bud? Uh, you, you've said like five words tonight, and I'm just like curious as to what you're doing. He's building. Oh, I'm just con I'm converting the rover into a little Corvette to go with Candor's destroyer. How nice! Yeah, I'm just I've just been quiet. Everyone else has been very talky. I've just been. He's just having fun and playing the along. game, basically. As I'm I'm literally like stabbing this thing with a grinder arm just You're eating it stabbing it to death well I'm like a mosquito only I eat your skin as I go for the juicy insides as well I might build a welder arm on the other side so I can just come over there and just deposit this directly into the engine bay do you actually have a connector on the top of that I can. Would you like me okay. to put one on? If, if you've got a free moment, uh, yeah, that way I can just uh, recharge off you. Yeah, hang on. What the? What? Something went boom. No, it didn't. Oh, okay. My mistake. Um, can't put one there. Can't put one there. Mm. Hmm. It needs to be vertical, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, it needs to be on, on the yep. tops. I'm building a spot for you right now. Thank you. Yeah, we're not getting to the Temple of Josh tonight. Dang it. But you thought it would take less than five sessions to build a uh, thing to carry all our things? <laughs> We don't have to carry all the things. We just have to carry us. And be oh, suitably well, impressive. You, can, you could take your rover. Uh, depending on how far away it is. Oh, we still don't, we still don't know. Do we, we still don't know. I still haven't gotten anything from Zori. What's she doing? Trying to enjoy herself? That's silly. <laughs> we both have the same thought. Mm -hmm. Mine probably had more puns in it, though. Probably. 
<laughs> Wasn't like we were waiting for that all the time. Oh well. Ninety-eight hundred, literally on the other side of the planet. <laughs> I thought that <laughs> literally was on the exact I, opposite side of the planet. I did think that was probably what it was going to be because remember when she first started, it was nighttime constantly and it was daytime constantly for us. Yes. Stop with your logic and sense. Get out of here. We could try digging through the core. <laughs> <laughs> Anderson had just said, Tunnel get the drill through. out. Shortest way. <laughs> yeah, hang on. So, so you were building a giant vertical lift thing. Um, just replace the thrusters with the drills, right? Man. Okay, so okay, it's not the opposite side of the planet completely. It's it, it uh, pretty much is though. I can look down to see the coordinates. It's approximately eighty percent of the way to the opposite side of the planet. <laughs> so that would be quite the pilgrimage. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Might have to build a bigger welder plate on this thing. Or grinder plate. Yeah, I think I'm going to, now that I've grabbed some more materials, I think I'm going to pull this back and make it, instead of one by three, maybe three by five, and then I'll really be cooking with gas.
<laughs> I'm not going to make a huntsman's axe or a, a lumber lumberjack's axe to chop down the whole thing. I want to eat it. I don't want to destroy it. So what you're saying is you need like 10 wide by 40 tall on a single hinge and then just pivot at 90 degrees. I have you not wrong. <laughs> Actually, what you could do is you could do like one one wide by like 50 tall and then just drive around it like an apple peeler. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're laughing, but I don't, I'm not seeing the issue here. I also might have to build more cargo containers. You're going to hedge your bets on a clean Corvette? What? Oh, I was replying to chat. Sorry. Oh. Put the tower on a rotor. That way you don't have to drive around it. Brilliant. <laughs> this is a big rotisserie spit. I mean, you could build that in to the, the assembly, just have a, a landing gear on top and then mm -hmm. a separate set of uh, grinders at the bottom. What's this about particles, Nab? What are you asking me? I'm sorry. Uh, BD said you found where the, the entire service particle budget is gone. Yeah. <laughs> to the Temple of Josh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Particles are local, though, aren't they? I don't think... They better be. I don't think uh, server side does anything with particles. This is space engineers. That's true. Uh, Sean McDonald, what's blown up so far has been uh, a player base owned by a player who uh, decided to hack some of the things on one of our bases. So we blew up the top part of it, which wasn't really a big loss for them. But, you know, honor the flag and all that. Now, wait a second. What is this impressive, random Epstein drive monstrosity over here? That's not random. That's the flagship. That's the flagship. That's the flagship. That's the beginning of the flagship. It's yeah. the flagship ah. and the gantry for said flagship. Do we have a name for the flagship or will it just be the flagship? For the fairest. For the fairest, I love it. I thought you might. Greek mythology. You know, this lag makes grinding easier because I can just about get parts ground down before physics takes effect. Oh, danger. Help. Critical. Oh, I just ran into an invisible wall. Oh, three health out. Wow, it's already 1014. Yeah, that happens. Clonk, clonk earlier, we were joking about making all the stuff. I was like, well, I mean, I guess we could just keep streaming till it's done and I'll see you guys all Sunday morning. And uh, <laughs> Clonk was like, is Nab here? I'm like, not yet. And he goes, okay, cool. We're good then. <laughs> I have been like yawning hardcore this entire time. Yeah. I well, did not sleep well last night. That'll happen. Sorry. I don't know why I kept waking up. It was ridiculous. It wasn't even the baby. The baby only woke up once. And it wasn't my fault either. This time. Nope. But not this time. 
Uh, Sean McDonald says that he loves the flagship design, which is great because it's barely built. And it was, then, yeah, it's barely there at all. And then will be published on the workshop. And how is the death pencil? Well, the pencil of death, aka Sforzando, is doing well and has its first uh, player versus player combat under it. Well, I mean, would be player versus player for real if they hadn't been like, I'm logging off because connection problem. Was it clunk? No. Uh, oh, this is nope. going down. This is actually down. Oh, yeah, this is actual going crash. down. That yeah, was this actual is crashing. Crash. Uh, Good uh -oh. news. We got a copy of the log that we've been hunting for for the last two or three days. This is what is like Torch is actually crashing, right? Uh, yeah, this is a stack overflow. Sweet. Well, I'm so just going to get ready. That. There would have been a... Would have been a rollback for a few minutes. Oh boy. I placed one block and then I got a stack overflow, so I wonder if that was it. Hmm. Zari's gonna be so mad. What block was it? She was she was working on um words and having to like uh put them on the wall and center them properly, and if we roll back <laughs> So where it wasn't centered, she's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Dem should only. I mean, at most it'll be five minutes. Okay, that's not bad. Hopefully my grinder's laid out. I don't have to relay it out again. Should be. Well, guess what? What? There's a weapon core update. Oh my gosh. <sighs> uh, it's always so funny. Dark Star. So, if you use, if you are the creator of a vastly popular mod that hundreds and hundreds of people use simultaneously, and dozens, if not hundreds of servers, use. Have a regular update schedule. She is not salty about this at all. Well, it's the dumbest thing. It's like, so Darkstar is incredibly talented and he's made something amazing with Weapon Core. And he knows it. And so he just doesn't give a crap about anything. He's just like, oh yeah, that needs to be fixed. I'll fix it now and update it now. Yeah. 1018 <laughs> on a on a Friday night. That's fine. Uh, sometimes it's 1142 AM on a Saturday morning when we're using the server for something else in Space <laughs> Engineers. I mean, even like just a once daily schedule would work, right? Anderson Man says, yeah, that dash table tag is an utter joke. That's why I would avoid weapon core but like the plague. I contemplated making this a vanilla, very close vanilla server with the new and weapons. And then it 100 percent And then it was wasn't not. And then and then I wasn't super involved with the building of it and yes. people were like, Oh, these mods are really cool. I was like, those aren't really cool. The mod rabbit hole of space engineers. So if there's a weapon core update. Because the server's dead, it shouldn't cause a problem, right? No, it don't, won't matter. It's the the startup sequence of starting the server up is has, doesn't change. It's all the same. Yeah. That explains why people were disconnecting and then not reconnecting. Uh, well, we were also at the limit. We were at sixteen. Uh, we were at fifteen for a long time. Oh, okay. Until Zori joined. Okay, I am now helping to spam the server with all the connection requests. Feral. Yeah. Uh, be prepared for some serious chop. I'm not even going to try to move for the first, like, two minutes. Yeah. Um, Apparently, says, I space think it was engineers already mods. Used. First hit is free. Second hit kills your game. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're the female engineer, uh. 
<laughs> I actually already made a comment about that in my stream. Oh, <laughs> Cause, yeah? Uh, yeah, because as I'm coming out of the, the mine that I made, right, I'm hitting the walls and going, eh, uh, uh, uh. I'm just like, I'm a female in a video game. Eh, uh. <laughs> DE pounding on server door. Wilma! <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Space Engineers Loading Screen 2022. Only the finest loading screens. I don't even remember standing here. But here I am. Oh, the server remembers. Beverage Farm, Farm remembers. remembers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is why Scott and I are friends. Okay. I successfully did a lot of stuff. Oh, nope. There we go. Now the server doesn't know where I am. Okay, I'll just stand on this wheel until things chill. Connection problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the server is pushing 50 megs per second. <laughs> uh, it's doing a lot better than it did before the new router and the new. Uh, uh, what the other thing you did? There are two things the you Nick. did. The Nick. The Nick. Yeah. So it's definitely doing much better. Yeah. The the in crazy instability smooths out a lot faster. Yeah. I think I think some of it might be the modem itself, and some of it might be the ISP going. Excuse me, you want to upload how much data? Excuse me? Yeah. Are you a pirate? Would you? <laughs> Would you I think you're a pirate. pirate. Seven, so. Yeah. When I, so, uh, the last time I yelled at Comcast, I was talking to the lady like, I don't know if you have some kind of anti-piracy measure in place. And they just ignore it because they're not supposed to talk about that stuff. Like, but I'm a streamer. And so I'm constantly doing some really high upload stuff for hours. And then I shut it off. I, it, I'm streaming. I'm not torrenting. I don't even have a torrent, uh, a torrent client thingy, on my computer, because I don't. Because I'm not a pirate. I purchased my software. And you know she didn't say anything, but funnily enough, after that, my random Comcast derpiness got a lot better. So I wonder if she like whitelisted me or something in a database somewhere like is not pirate <laughs> is not pirate is okay is okay is not pirate okay de um so as you can tell during the server upset the b uh landed oh interesting just flip that back over when the server slips, uh chills out that's what i was thinking of doing yeah yeah that's fine that's and yes, I know in our rules we're like, no, nah, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. But it's... I mean, we also said that it wasn't going to be admin support, but Jure's been helping people. Jure's been that. helping people. That I know, true. I know candor has been helping people. Final has been devoting large amounts of his life that could otherwise be sent, spent, I don't know, whatever can probably do. Probably with Skoka. Pulling, <laughs> pulling maple syrup out of trees or something. Or watching Skoka do squats, I think the other thing he does for fun it's about it it's a regular pastime over here you mean mm -hmm. you mean francesca francesca <laughs> oh you might have been asleep at that point already i i what is francesca i i think that was this the world of warship stream the other night yeah this is the world of war i may, I may have i may have been night. asleep by that point because the last thing i really remember that was funny was the uh was was it jared saying how much he liked being in pink or something like that someone said phrasing yeah. and then yeah yeah. yeah. PV penis. Yeah. 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 That was good. No, because very quickly Skokas turned into. Stuff. Yeah. Very quickly turned into uh, uh, World of Warships after dark. That sounds like fun. Okay, so. Mind. DE, if you drive forward and slightly to the left, we should be able to get these connectors to mate up and then do the flip. What flip? The flip for the B. By the way, after DE made that verbal slip up, he was mad at himself for the rest of the night. I've done the flip. Oh, that's no fun. 
I was gonna use this arm contraption you had, hook it up to the B, then spin yeah. it around. Yeah, it would have been fun. It would have been really, really fun. I want a grand tower. You might <sighs> Everybody's gonna get reconnected just in time to go to bed. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I I'm in, and everything's happy now. Yeah, it's pretty happy right now. I think. I gotta go get some energy. I feel like I did this already because I did. <laughs> so, Hammer Beast, it's a, it's a chat. Pee Wee, what? And so I'm going to type it in chat what I was trying to say that stream and how it's. How it's <laughs> I'll do it. Okay. It's pronounced like something else. See, I when I think, I don't think audibly really. I think in words. Like written word. Yeah. Sounds threatening, D. Hmm? They said we have guns, D. Sounds like a threat. Isolation mark. Yeah. You should you should eliminate them. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ken's just gonna get, get a kick out of that when he wakes up. Get the soap, says Feral. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Rush, Rush says, somehow I don't think I'm not a pirate will work for me. You know what, pirate? Some, pe some people are pirates. Some want Rush, pirate. That was fantastically worded. She's got pirate oh, in her name! That's not my fault. Good night. Rush. Or as Farrell likes to say, good night, kids. <sighs> About ready to put welders behind the grinder so I can self-build a giant plate of them. <laughs> Zinder says, got a generalized SE multiplayer question. Is it normal to be moving like astronauts on the moon, but not as bad in 1G on the server? Camera turns normally. Yes, that's called low sim speed. And if you want to know what's going on with your sim speed, press shift F11 and you get this lovely screen over here. And you can see several numbers, but the important one you're looking for is simulation speed. Like on this server, we're a little soupy ourselves with a sim speed at 6.67, which means that the server is calculating everything in the physics engine at 67% of normal speed, which means everything is slower. <laughs> Rush says, I'd love to guest star in some SC machine about playing Totally Not a Pirate. Making sure. Well, hey, Arctic Wolf. Uh, that's true, Farrell. It does it does get tweaked a little bit, and although this is pretty accurate because I've got the updates per second up as well, so it should be all right. Look at that server up, locked it a megabyte per second about. About, yeah. That's that's pretty good. And it's, you know, it's holding up, so it's good. We, we were just, we were just murdering that old router. We're just making its little processor dance. Dance, Probably. monkey, dance! I mean, that's what you get with an integral processor, integral router modem combo. 
So what's the deal with the update? Are you talking about the Warfare update from a couple weeks ago? Uh, it's it's updated, update-tastic. It's actually, honestly, it's been one of the better updates, in my opinion. Yeah, it's Cer actually pretty decent. Yeah, certainly far better than the previous Warfare update. And the post-launch uh, stress on the server support has been Did actually it. pretty good. It's uh, related to uh, physics calculations. There's a yeah. lot of broken stuff, but it's not like it's not like they're not trying to fix it. Yeah, it, it, it almost feels like Merrick stopped running this part of the company, or started paying attention again, or something. I don't know. Maybe he stopped playing with badgers in his backyard and is actually like doing administrative work. Jump drives are working, Farrell. They they patched that. That was what. That was what like three or four days ago that they fixed that i think yeah i think i think there's still some instability ah is what that point is about because it doesn't oh it did bb i will say i was very proud of merrick during the live stream he didn't mumble once Spoke very clearly into the camera. I don't know if there, there I wonder if the other times it was just times, too early. I think both both you and I were like, "That's not what I heard." Yeah, a very specific word. Yes. Which, well, I mean, it was kind of related to how the engineer sounds when she hits a wall. <laughs> All right, now that is what I call a grinder wall. Well, I mean, a little one. Anyway, here's grinder wall. Grinder wall. It doesn't work with the grinder. So, uh, back in ye olden days of Space Engineers, my brother and I had a shared world that we played on a lot. And the uh, name of the grinder ship we made was Nottender, but spelled not Tinder. And we thought that was very clever. Because it's a grinder. Mm -hmm. I got it. Oh, I just now got that. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm ashamed how long that took me. I mean, I had to have it explained to me when my brother was giggling at it. I was like, what are you? And then he had to like explain that oh, the, the whole thing. So at the time, I think, I don't know if Tinder was only uh, at the time servicing heterosexual people. But Grinder was uh, was an app that targeted uh, homosexual and other LGBT uh, people for the same service that Tinder does. If people aren't aware, I don't even know if Grinder's still around. I don't really yeah, have either any. Of, okay, I don't really have any of those apps on my phone as I am happily married. And if I'm in a Tindery Grindery sort of me, like it just kind of happens. So, and then Nab complains about being tired not this time that, that's not what happened this time <laughs> i would tell you if it did then it's fine yeah of course i don't mind sharing some things are not a sharing story yeah most things are fair game <laughs> <laughs> i'm a bad 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 i like how i got it immediately well i mean you weren't always an innocent little housewife. <laughs> right, innocent little housewife. Mm -hmm. I love it. Unassuming. That's what everybody thinks Nab is. An innocent little housewife. She just hangs out, you know? Doesn't do much. 
Good Christian morals. <laughs> Whoa! That was a lot of sparks. Nothing detonated. Thank you Are for the follow. Are sparks or sparks of the future? Uh, that's a good question. Not sure. My wings have been clipped, Skoka. <laughs> good. I was like, oh no, is this going to be... <laughs> Gonna be another incident? Another incident. Oh, uh, guys, my uh, my rover's on the moon, and my corpse is on Obitus. I'm just bringing the bee in for the night. I'm getting lots of goodies. So I got lots of room. Whoa! Okie dokie. Uh, so pro tip for survival. Do not try to stand on an extended piston because the server doesn't know where it is. The server only knows where it is because it knows where it isn't. <laughs> Sounds about right for SC programming. Yeah, yeah, it does. This is working remarkably well. I can always tell when I stop syncing with the server because suddenly I'm a smooth 60 frames and updates per second. It feels like I'm at 1.0 sim speed. And then the server's like, wait, 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 no, no, no come back here. Space no yeah, exactly. Nice. Oh man, this is super effective. Clonk, have you seen the giant hole I've carved into the side of the tower? No, I took the bee back home because oh. it was it was sad and hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no worries. I'm totally pulling a Kalima on this tower. Is that a Star Trek term? No, it's uh, uh, Indiana Jones. The guy re reaches in the guy's chest and pulls his heart out, and it catches oh, fire. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Cultist dude number, like, 2,000. Yeah, yeah, he yells Kalima, and the heart bursts into flames. Okay. I think I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Well, let me stow my yes, grinderness. Time. Yeah, yeah, speaking of grinders, watch out now because they are real close to the car. Yes, pods. I did notice that. I'm also going to head out for the night. You guys have a great night. All right, one. good night, Clonk. Thanks for good playing. Night, Always fun, Clonk. Clonk. Yep, good night, everyone.
Okay, my rover looks like it has like a giant carpenter's hammer on one side. Coming back with it. Also, I have collected a lot of steel plate. Uh oh. Good. Oh. No, it's okay. Yeah, driving in spike, but it's okay. Oh, you felt old today, Sean McDonald? Let me tell you a story about feeling old. Oh, weird, my wheels aren't turning? No, it's just lag, doing laggy things. Yeah. It's, it's not... It's, okay, brakes. Brakes. Hold the space bar. We're just going to wait for a second while whoever is just connecting finishes ruining everyone's game experience for five seconds. I love how the, the planet has little cracks in it. A little bit of a connection problem there, too. Good night, Frogman. Sorry, so sorry. It's the sabotage. <laughs> Uh, Takari, you can stop the lagging if you pay, what was it, what was it, like a hundred and, no, it was a lot, it was like 400 bucks a month for a, for a fancy server? Uh, the one like we that? did the test on that, yeah. that night was like 240. Yeah, but we want one more. cam off. I want that's more powerful. I should turn the Namcam off, but you're preparing to raid. I already raided. We raided Zarinia. Oh, why'd you do that? Because we already visited... The Temple of Josh. Oh, you visited it in uh, in Spectator. I think this rover might end up being called Hammer Time because of what I've, what monstrosity I've wrought upon it. I did see that attachment you put on there. Yeah, I mean, you know, for taking apart static bases, it's really nice. And I've got room on the other side to put another arm on for welding, which would be good for uh, helping with flagship construction, I think. Yes. Especially considering the, you know, modest amount of materials I have managed to uh, collect upon this thing. Yes. The uh, one of these engines is built. Hey, you know what? It only took all street. It's it's the production bottleneck at this point. It is. Well, we also I took a break and Skok and I put on another advanced drill on the Titanite. Oh, nice. So now there's three static drills feeding the base. Sweet. I need to find a better way of stowing this thing. The guns are going to shoot it off. But that's a problem for next week, Chris. Or DE, whatever. <laughs> my name's my name's been out there for a while. Yeah, it you said been. it the other day, too, <laughs> while streaming. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. Hi, everybody! My name's Super Common. Good luck. <laughs> I mean, if people want to know my name, I mean, my it's my PayPal. So it's like, yeah, Super Secret. Super Secret. It's on the P.O. Box. It's Super Secret. Yeah. The, Although the, the, P.O. the P.O. Box. box. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, though, the P.O. Box is not readily available if you're not part of the Discord. Yeah. So. yeah. Discord. I'm thinking about. I'm going to put the cannon down so I don't have it. Uh, or, you know what? No, no, I tried to, and it just said, get get in the bed, D. Just get in the bed. I have reported to the bedroom. <laughs> I might be able to do it from here.
a good screenshot. That's probably next week. Summon that one right there. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. This was fun. Sorry we didn't get to the Temple of Josh. Yeah, it's on the other side of the planet. However, I yeah. did take a little bit of a of a journey there with the spectator cam. So if people were watching the nap cam, a they journey. at least were able to see it. A yes. journey, you say. A journey. I took a journey. Yes. Well, we'll fly over there at some point. Ah, the last subscription was DJ Noob. I didn't see it because I was too busy watching all the sparks. Anyway, have a good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Final, Skoka, and all the offline people. Oh, and Scarlet's still here. He's just being quiet, mm -hmm. I think. So quiet. So quiet. Thanks for playing. Always a pleasure. Thanks for having us. Always fun to be yes. here. Yes. Check out these fine folks on uh, their Twitch channels. Which I should definitely put in the description, but it's uh, Twitch TV slash Final Nine Seven Seven and Twitch TV yep. slash Skoka Twenty One S C O C A Two One and Twitch TV slash Master Scarlet if you want to watch uh, some old clips because uh, we haven't get gotten him to start streaming again, but we're working on it. I'll get to Soon. it. I promise. <laughs> yeah, one of these days. He's got plants. We'll He's put got a, plants. Yeah. We'll, we'll put some pretzels in front of the stream box. He <laughs> 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 can't resist the pretzels. <laughs> coming to you, coming to you from a hot tub somewhere on the east coast of the United States. Pretzel ASMR Crunch. from Master Crunch. Scarlet. <laughs> That's what everyone wants. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, real crunchy. <laughs> <laughs>